Hello. Welcome, chat. Welcome, one and all. Hello, chat. Hello, chat, you. Fuck off. Wow. <laughs> we are, Sorry, uh... Long. I, I fixed... I fixed Sack. I figured out what yeah. was wrong with it. Sacrifice is fixed and it, now. And it wasn't me. It was somebody else who was trying to make a Sack command. No, it was because of my test up. ones. It was me. I had done it. Well, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't the Drake's fault. Up. But yeah, uh, welcome. I've also added a new command. Yeah. We are, uh, we're live. Um... And, uh, yeah, we, we are here. So, uh, looks like the camera's working all right. Um, I gotta adjust some of my screen regions. Other than that, we're good to go. So, we, uh, Craigox may have to go in a bit, but either way, we are, um, we're here. And, yeah, who wants to give a little recap of what happened last time? Last well, session was pretty simple, I, I guess. Got stabbed a lot. <laughs> and I, I didn't died. get stabbed a lot. <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was like Julius Caesar. You got stabbed by, they said like 60 senators. It was 60 <laughs> kobolds. Yeah, two kobolds. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, a couple of them ran away at the end. You let a few run off, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you ran off, I gotta put that These in my notes. Are there, there might be consequences for that. What? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna remember your faces. Don't worry. <laughs> you tell and then they're gonna like us. Um, and then we heard kind of end of the session. Uh, that was basically. So, what you're saying is that the next group of sixty co walls will know better than to try mm -hmm. and murder us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So you guys had basically. Uh, that was like that was most of the session, but at the start you had met another Fey woman. Um, okay. And unlike, he was greeny. <laughs> unlike uh, Zena, who looks mostly like an elf, um, this other Fey lady uh, had like bark and stuff all over her body and antlers. Um, and she basically was like telling you guys that you should go to the west to her sister. Um, and basically said, like, she could help you a little bit in the meanwhile, and after, uh, basically told you that it would be a little bit, but after the kobold fight, you met with her, like, the, uh, the day or two later, and, uh, yes, you found a new friend, um, Greeny. Yeah. And then you basically continued on. Um, at the end, there was one thing. I, I did give you guys a, uh, a decision. I gave you guys a decision at the end to see whether or not you wanted to stick to the more human populated areas, the dwarven populated areas, or the ones that are like mixed. Uh, and you guys decided to go to the more dwarven areas, right? I think? Yes, okay. that is accurate. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. You did also find in the kobolds' lair their ill-gotten gains from past groups of travelers that fell to the same trap. Um, which was a totally fair trap that, uh, uh, was sprung with, uh, perfect warning. <laughs> Right. Um, but no, so the, uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, so the, uh, yeah, I actually, uh, so that, that'll bring us to where you guys are going to be finishing traveling here. Um, and, uh, I actually, am go I have a surprise for you guys for a few hours yesterday and today. I was working on a new updated map. Ooh! Yeah, I got uh, oh, fancy. Nice. I need to do one last thing before it's ready to show off. It's still very much a work in progress in that I've only done half of the continent you guys are on, <laughs> and even then it needs some tweaking. But I've done the half of it that you're in. <laughs> uh, no, we wouldn't really know about the other half, right? 
Yeah, that's the part that on your map is the least mapped out. So that's kind of... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, uh... Let's see. I'm just adjusting it because I had extra space on the sides that I don't really need. Um... <clears throat> here we go. Cool. So, I will unveil the new map. It's fairly basic. I used a, a program that is basically just a hex grid program. Oh god, we're playing Civ. But that's uh, it's Catan. <laughs> no, it's a. I mean, this is a, a very classic way to play. Is like having a hex grid map. <laughs> Shoals on the map, dude. That's it. That's your party. He's representing your party. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. So this oh, is. Oh no, we're drowning. <laughs> so this is the uh, the map. Actually, one thing I didn't put. I didn't put the island you guys landed on originally. But it would be mm -hmm. like up here. Also, this here, is new. There's like a little island there. Yeah, I changed some stuff. Um. Oh, there's lakes and rivers. Let's go. There are lakes and rivers. Um, uh, where where do you want the island we came from to be? Right there, ish. Uh, maybe like actually, maybe like right here. <laughs> is that a swamp like a right there? Sweeper. That is uh, no. Those are like moorlands. So kind of like uh, craggy grasslands with maybe some trees here and there. Okay. Again, pretty much everything. So like, if you haven't been able to tell this continent is very much similar to north america to real life north america yeah at least right. oh, these are the great lakes right here those are basically the great lakes um oh, okay and you have your appalachians so everything west of basically okay. the mississippi equivalent is not done at all and even the stuff around it so but uh as far as like the, the stuff in the east like the eastern forests and stuff and mountain ranges it's all pretty pretty accurate um to what it is in the um uh, like, like to what it is in my mind right like it's it's mostly representative of what's there there's some stuff Gee, i have a, a comment mm -hmm. um if this map is based on north america Loosely. why yeah. is everything south of the great lake so detailed and everything north very tiny yeah, and squished because it's all a wasteland <laughs> up there you know and uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just it's like if you guys like head nobody that way, is ever gonna live up there anyway, so why detail? <laughs> it's almost like if you guys uh, head up there, then I'll flesh um, it out more, right? Just like there's a literally a whole another large group of islands, basically worth another continent, and then a whole another continent further south of that. So this is just like a third of basically the whole half of the world, or this whole part of the world, right? Mm. And. uh yeah. So, anyways, though, California the, finally split off the continental U.S. right there. Yeah, exactly. California okay. seceded. Um, well, no. So, um, so uh, yeah, you guys like basically came from the northeast, mm -hmm. then got to the island, and then head headed southeast to reach. So this is this right here. This is the city that you guys landed at. The okay. town where you fought Hilda and everything would have been like right like here. Yeah, only like a couple tiles over. Uh, all of these like little like house m markers. So the castle markers are like cities, true cities, right? Big cities, normally capitals of like kingdoms or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the the small ones are like still like large towns or small cities. So they're still like decent in size. They're just uh, not like capital cities, right? Mm. Uh, these ones are like smaller cities. They might still be capitals of smaller realms, but they wouldn't be like huge kingdoms. They would just be in that area, regional powers, instead of like major powers. So, um, yeah, and, and then there's like pretty much any tile, like in the, except maybe up in like the mountains or whatever, right? Pretty much anywhere you're going to be able to find smaller, like smaller towns and villages. But these are like the major population centers. Basically, any one of these, the little house things or the castle things, is a town or city of enough size where you could, like, find merchants to buy things from. Stuff like that. Whereas, if you're not in one of those, it's going to be kind of, like, hit or miss. I guess the never miss, huh? Um, and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Beat me to it. <laughs> So, I, for some reason, by the way, it didn't really turn out super high resolution on Roll20. I gotta export a high res version. I'll replace that somewhere. No, this seems fine. It's fine. You can no. tell what's going on. It I don't think it would really benefit from a higher resolution, if it, I'm being honest. I, it might just be Roll20, like, 
Yeah, because like the the image file on its own looks better, but um, honestly, it's fine. It, it's not like it, it's still easy to tell it what's going on. So uh, better than what I had before with the blobs. At least there's some detail now. So this circle here, we'll say that is like the um, that is like the village that you guys right. stayed at and then had the battle at and stuff like that. Um, and you guys are uh, wanting to go to Boar Central, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that this is, is like this. It's uh yeah. Let me. I'm gonna try to. <clears throat> I should be using the like a little bit of a. I don't know. Demarcation of the border. Yeah, yeah. I could area. I could give you a rough. That's a good idea. I can draw a rough um, rough border, because it is like a, a actual kingdom now. So is this is this grid actually hex now or is it just the picture that's it's hex? actually hex now i need oh, to set cool. up the measurements but mm -hmm. uh yeah so yeah, that... that's five feet so the whole continent across <laughs> yeah <the> whole... <laughs> 260 feet oh yeah no it's could. actually pretty it's actually pretty easy to change it we'll do miles because we're gonna uh, make that in a few minutes we're doing we'll do miles um each grid is probably like 50 75 miles across i don't know let's see there you go what does that make it across that's 2500 yeah and that's about like accurate for the coastal the continental us uh it's probably actually a little bigger though well bigger maybe a little bit now well you know i guess for for uh depending where you're going from yeah for ease of use we'll use uh 50 miles because i don't want to do like 60 i'd rather keep it easy to Use. So counterpoint, make the units kilometers. Mm, ban him. Counterpoint, <laughs> make them inches. <laughs> yeah, um, make them inches, but like a very large amount of inches. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Hold on, hold on. Is inches? Yeah, it is a thing. Oh no. Twenty-two miles per hex is usually the standard. Yes, but this is uh, at a much larger scale than a normal hex grid, right? Because, like, that would be a hex grid for, like, um, like uh, a generally, like, a smaller area, like a kingdom or a few kingdoms area. I wanted to be able to fit the whole thing without it being super tiny on the, the map. So, yeah, these are going to be 50 miles each, so roughly double that. All right, there you go. Now it's 69, 69 inches per, per hex. I, I hate it. I, yeah, well, this gonna, hurts I'm me. I'm just gonna step over to what the, the Boar fuck? Island then. Inches, dude. Or to Boar Land. No, we're, we're doing 50 miles. So, so um, to put that in perspective, um, so like, an average traveling pace of a party is gonna be about 25 miles a day, right? Um, because let's say you're walking for eight hours in a day, right? Let's just to make it easy. Eight hours in a day at a walking pace, you maybe do like three miles an hour. So that's 24. We'll round it up to 25 miles per day. Um, if you're going at a faster pace, you'll cover more, obviously. But roughly um, 25 miles in a day, which means that each tile would be like two days of travel. So that's why uh, it actually fits with what we have already. So you guys traveled from the village and you've already gone like six or seven days at this point right so you're now approaching the mountains over here um <clears throat> this uh this like town slash city here is human controlled um and i knew you guys said so the dwarven areas would be more like towards the mountains but this is kind of like on the border oh. again so okay so um poetry cutting out a bit okay good it wasn't just me yeah it might it might mm -hmm. be uh cutting out let's let me see did i drop any frames i think stream's good no it might be just discord so um so yeah this, this town slash small city here is human controlled there's like a there's a small like um not really kingdom but you know like area um they are controlled by humans and then up in the mountains is more dwarves right so the idea is that if you uh, if you guys want to hit up that city before you go through the dwarven controlled mountains, you could. Or like you said, if you want to just go straight straight to the mountains and like bypass the the stuff, that would be quicker. 
I vote just to go to the mountains. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. So then the plan is basically sure. just like cut through this kind of like the passes through the mountains up here. Mm. Um, generally, when people cross the mountains, and you would have been told this by the villagers and stuff, right? Generally, you would cut across into like this large kind of, it's not one valley, but this large kind of basin, I guess you could say, right? You get into this basin and then kind of um, make your way down there. Are there um, differences in travel time depending on the hex terrain? Um, yeah, I would say like the the mountainous stuff is going to be probably double the length of time, okay. um, unless well, like it, it essentially works like how movement does on a battle map where yeah. there is difficult terrain which costs double movement. Yeah, but uh, over like a long distance, if we if you like measure out a bit, I could say maybe it's like one and a half times slower. You know, nece not necessarily. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so so yeah, so the plan is going to be to kind of head this way. I kind of ended uh, the last um, session with saying that you guys basically, you know, you can see there's like some hills and stuff. Like again, and I had already I've been describing the area where you fought like the Albear and all the stuff with Sten. It was a hilly area, right? Not super mountainous or anything, but hilly with forests and stuff. Some parts thicker than others. Um, but now you've kind of come over like this kind of range of hills and are in like a little bit of a, a large like valley here. Um, leading up to the actual mountains up ahead. And this, in this valley, you can, like, from, like, the hill you guys were perched on, um, you could kind of see off to the side, way off in the distance, this, uh, sides of this, um, human city and its, like, surrounding areas. But the way that you guys are heading, kind of bypassing that, you're going more straight to the, um, the foothills of this, uh, of the range. And you can te definitely tell along some of the rivers here are some dwarven settlements or presumably dwarven settlements and so yeah so you guys just start heading along yeah okay yeah, we do um i want one of you to roll me a random encounter die actually this is a good time all so, right what okay. size yeah so this is the first actually i should explain for anyone in chat so this is the first time we've done this before uh, for this campaign over generally over like long periods of travel especially through more wilderness areas um, I like to include a chance for there to be a random encounter doesn't necessarily always have to be combat um, but uh, it will be something that is going to challenge the players in one way or another what um, is a fudge dice fudge dice what do you mean Oh, I, uh... <laughs> it, might be it, it just gives you a plus or minus one. Gotcha. Mm. So, yeah, um... Let's see. I would like for... Wait, who said they wanted to roll it? Let's have Tart roll it. Okay, yeah, yeah, Tart what? should do it. Okay. So what do what, you do with Tart's new? So it's gonna be normally... I actually have changed my philosophy on this recently. I used to always do a... A D10. Mm -hmm. Um... Maybe a D12 if it's a less dangerous area. I think nowadays what I wanted to do actually is uh, is actually lower it each time until you get a random encounter, so that, yeah, that eventually sense, yeah. you get one. So we'll start it at a at a D12. He's gone. Oh, hello. I'm, I should D12. Be okay. No, you're fine now. You're fine. Yeah, now. it's just like yeah. cutting out occasionally. Four. Okay. So you're good. So the way it generally works is that the highest number, the 12, would be like a particularly deadly encounter if it turns to combat. Mm. It would be some mm. dangerous threat, right? An 11 would be like, eh, an average threat. And then anything below that means no, nothing happens. So, okay. uh, so that's the first one. We'll probably have multiple here, actually. But, uh, oh, I got to get the stream in a little bit so you can see what's going on this Direct, oh. direct area. Which which way are we moving as well? Uh, west. So you can move two tiles so over because that's okay. Yep. Hmm. All right. As you basically kind of reach um this this travel through this um this like valley here is pretty uneventful actually. It's pretty safe. Um, this is the the time of year you know stuff is in bloom. Um, and uh, 
like you you do see signs of conflict here and there between dwar like dwar dwarven raids of different settlements you pass by some farming communities mostly humans some halflings actually there's some halflings not too many though um but you eventually kind of start reaching the foothills leading up into the mountains in in this time this is like a you know a few days in this time would you all uh would you have any like bonding sessions with Greeny? Are you are you gonna? Yeah, like... we're gonna smoke a spliff with them. <laughs> I mean, I guess especially Landor. Like, is Landor going to be like? Uh... I mean, I'm I'm going to be riding Greeny the whole time. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You you get to so, like you know I'm gonna try to be talking to him. Yeah, yeah. Just so he gets a feel for your voice and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then maybe I can understand basic things that he says back eventually. But yeah, yeah, that's true. Because yeah, he does go. He, I don't, you know, it's like a bunch of like going like. <laughs> I don't know what like elk or deer sounds are. They kind of like little like whining things, right? Like yeah, yeah. Well, he has he has his own language. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming it sounds like sounds like a normal elk's thing. It's just that it's more complex slightly. Um, it's one of those things where, uh, you would, uh, you get to, you get a feel for his personality, even though you don't understand what he's saying, right? He's, he's generally fairly playful, fairly, um, uh, like, it's, it seems like he's, uh, he's mischievous, but not in a way that's gonna get you guys in trouble, necessarily. You know, he's not, like, a, gonna go, he's not violent. You guys pass travelers, and it's not like he charges at them. <laughs> Actually, Think when you do... There, if you want the ambiance for your stream. Yeah, when you do pass travelers, many of them, like, are very, very surprised to see... to see uh, a, a giant elk walking around. They're not common in this area? No. They no. are... Not that your characters know this, they're more common in this part of the world than other parts of the world, but um, they're not normally being ridden by a 12 foot tall man either. <laughs> so your, your group attracts a lot of attention, let's just put it that way. And uh, yeah, you guys... Uh, We'll uh, pass by a few, di again, a few different farming communities and stuff you pass by without incident. None of them mess with you or anything. You're left alone. Eventually, though, as you kind of start heading into the foothills, you actually do find what seems to be like a, a somewhat decent sized little frontier town. It is a, a, a dwarven frontier town. It looks like it is, it was, it's somewhat recent like um maybe uh a hundred years old which is for a lot of the settlements here pretty new um no castle or anything just a kind of like a sturdy wooden wall surrounding this area kind of uh, next to a river as you're going up into the mountains and you guys have actually been following a road there is a road uh, a, a bunch of roads that are sort of converging leading up to the mountains to go through the pass here and one of these, uh, the one of the places that they converge on, is this town. It seems to be kind of a, like a checkpoint almost. Um, it's the one of the last towns before you hit the true mountains. So, this town is like a would be a good spot if you wanted to get any like last minute supplies or anything. If your characters wanted to like go drinking at all, you're not gonna really have access to alcohol after this point. At least for a bit. <clears throat> Drinking is for scrubs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you stay at like an inn here or anything? Like there are lots of travelers here. Hmm. Seems like some merchants like about to take their goods across the uh, the mountains, stuff like that. Uh, do they have a place for a giant elk to stay? <laughs> They do not know. They have a. 
Actually, interestingly enough, there are actually a couple of elk that you guys see that mm -hmm. have riders with them. And clearly are meant are like meant for riding. You guys want to murder their riders and take them? <laughs> it's it's some elves actually. Not mm -hmm. uh uh bro. <laughs> normal elves, not draconic elves. What the draconic elf? No, don't worry about it. I uh, know you you've seen one in this campaign, but like once it was like in session four or five. They uh, they're elves that have scales on parts of their body. I might have been gone for that. You might have been gone for that actually, yeah. And then there were some more in the one shot. You your your party has seen a few at this point. Probably one out of every five elves you've seen, and they're not that you haven't seen that many elves in general. Um, occasionally, though. Uh, one out of every five elves, elves you've seen has been a draconic elf with these scales on, like, their arms, their cheeks, other parts of their body. I think the first time we saw them was in that starting large city. Yeah. So, yeah, you do actually see some elks that are, uh, that are mounts. Normal elks. They're not giant elks. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'd probably just hang a greenie then. Mm-hmm. In uh, some type of makeshift dealio on the side of town. Yeah, yeah. There's like, um, there are a couple stables like around the town and none of them are really big enough for greenie, but like, just like, there are merchant caravans that, and groups that have just set up camps outside the walls of the, the town itself mm -hmm. too. So you could just find a spot and make it a little camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what about supplies? Actually, I think I did say that I would start having you guys track supplies. Uh, some fries. Some fries, <laughs> yeah. Um, how much supplies did I give? Did you? Did I give you guys to start? Ten rations. Okay. <laughs> you probably yeah, I have a lot of find. I, can, I find food and water for five people per day. You can just by yep. Wait, the what? wanderer trait. Oh yep. fuck! You can find food, fresh food, Bruh. and water for yourself and up to five other people each day. I didn't realize mm. that. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, you find it, I cook it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it now. Yeah, as long as it has stuff to provide, which this game <laughs> does. Um, so. Yeah, really. The only consideration is we can't, you know, fat travel very fast since we need to spend time doing that yeah yeah but well, even we're, at traveling, pace, we're traveling like, at a normal pace anyway yeah mm -hmm. so you guys are fine um yeah no then then you guys are good i won't take any of your rations away um the rations would be if you really need to push it hard and like don't have time for that right so um but as long as you're going at a normal pace that's no issue um Oh god, I opened up your sheet, Tari, and then I, I forgot. I was like, why is there a counter with 3,115? That's, that's how many sips you have left of the frothy yeah. water. Yeah. Uh, if um, anyone wants frothy water, just ask. I'll give it to yeah. you. Yeah, I'll take some. I'll take some. Alright, okay. Add some five, five tep hit points. Mm. There you go. Yeah, All right. I guess I'll uh, by the way, poetry, have right. we had a long rest since yeah, the encounter with the kobolds? Alright, yeah. that's what I was making sure of. Mm-hmm. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, so do you do anything at this town? There is a... So, like, again, it is a dwarven town, mostly inhabited by dwarves. And, uh, you've heard tale of how... You've heard stories about how a lot of the dwarves in this area, um, a lot of the dwarven kingdoms in this area, like, actually will, like take a lot of slaves and like raid their neighbors that aren't dwarves but in this town at least it seems like um it seems like there, there is actually a significant amount of non or uh, non-dwarves there's some humans some halflings some elves and uh it seems like most of them are like merchants or kind of other uh artisans that are um not bothered by the dwarves um being a you know kind of a frontier town a lot of stuff comes through here and so it seems like there's kind of a 
um, the other uh, non dwarves are respected well enough, and you guys are too. I would like to get some drink and some drink for the road. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, you go up to you probably go to one of the taverns then I'm assuming and Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um and definitely you would uh you'd be able to uh to get some some alcohol. How like what type of alcohol do you want? Uh spirits. Okay. Yeah, they they got like uh they got moonshine. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. You can get like um how much is a a barrel of I can't carry a barrel. <laughs> okay. How much is a... Oh, God. All right, let's say for like a half barrel, something you could carry a little more reasonably. I think you're overestimating how strong <laughs> I am. Well, then how are you going to carry like any amount of significant value? You, how many, like, you want a few bottles? Like a few 40-ounce bottles, basically? Sounds like he's buying a riding elk to carry his... Uh... <laughs> they have mounts here. You could buy... They don't have, uh, yeah, so there's no horses, but there would be, um, there are, like, oxen for carts. If you just wanted to buy a giant cart, Greenlee can probably pull a giant cart. I don't yeah. know if I can afford a giant cart. Uh, I mean, it could be a normal cart. It doesn't have to, it would just have to be, like... I don't know if I can afford a normal cart. Uh, a well, normal... why don't you go find out? Remember yeah, that. let's go to a cart maker. Okay. Remember yeah. that coinage is basically equivalent to one higher in this area. Yeah. So yeah. there, there so is a well, the, the DM, like the player handbook. I think a cart is like a what a hundred. It's like fifty or a hundred, something like that. So it'd be know, that much silver. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I go to it says fifteen. It's actually not even that much, but uh, it might be different here, right? Depending on um. The thing is, so. I apparently have seven hundred silver. So. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know yeah. how he doesn't also have just hundreds of silver. Yeah. So, no, so, so, Drake, uh... Drake, you would actually... Let's go to the cart maker. Okay, yeah. There's not necessarily, like, a cart maker that you could easily find, but there's, like, a general store. If you just ask around... Uh... Yeah. Actually, that's a question. What languages do you know? Common and giant. So giant uh, is related to dwarvish, but they're kind of distantly related. I I would go with him. Okay. To speak dwarven to the people. Yeah, and even the dwarven you know is like, it's like the the dwarven you know versus their dwarven. It is definitely mutually intelligible. Think of it. It's like the difference between someone with a very very thick like southern accent. And then on the other hand, someone with like a very, very thick Scottish accent, right? Like it's like, it's okay. very different. I can understand both of those people very well. Yeah, like it's it's very life. different, but it is also understandable, right? There's no issues with that. Okay. So that's just to give you a rough idea of like how different they are um, while still being the same language. Um, yeah, so you could, you could help translate then. Um, as you're kind of asking around, some of the dwarves, you kind of get a lot of looks from the dwarves. Some of curiosity, some of like kind of dis, like mistrust or suspicion. But you ask them, and they're like, uh, like where you could find a card. Like uh, one of them's got a, one of the general stores got a card out front. I know. Picked it off of a group that was uh, killed by some raiders up in the hills. Cool. Thanks, dwarf. What did he say? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, he said the general store out front. Yeah. Good. And you go over there, and uh, there is indeed a uh, a cart sitting out front. Pretty sturdy one. Looks like it would my maybe take a little bit of modification to get it to, like, hook on to greeny but not too much you kind of just rig it up differently you know yeah all right uh yeah do you ask the general store it's it's a it's a dwarf and they're just like what could i do you for i would like the cart that you possess yeah that'll uh that'll cost you 10 gold He wants ten gold from you. 
Which, by the way, you would know, sounds like very expensive. I mean, I don't care. For it's this not area. No, that's fair. Uh, tell him to give me a reasonable price, or I'm leaving. Oi, mate, he said to fucking change the price. Listen, this is a frontier town, and we got, uh, we get coin flowing in all the time from the dwarven mines. I know where, he, wherever the heck you guys are from, it might be different. Cause you ain't got shit for gold and silver in your hills, but, uh, here, the gold runs like rivers. I look back at, uh, Torgir. I was... For some reason, I was thinking Torgir was was your other your one track. No, uh, that's Brynjar. <laughs> and and say, "Oi, don't be so poor." <laughs> Do you not have enough silver for it? I I don't have enough silver for it. I have enough gold for it. No. I thought I you feel guys like thought about Greg has it. neglected to take his share of money a couple of times. Yeah. And Greg, you should have seven hundred silver. Well, I wasn't told. You might have been it might have been after you left last session. No, wait, you were there all last session, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well yeah, like each of us got what, two hundred and fifty silver last session or something like that? Something. Yeah. Because I'm up to seven hundred and I've gotten silver <laughs> from a few other things. I mean, I, I think uh We've gotten silver like three different times. The believe... last time was like 300 or something, and then we got 250 copper. I believe there was like 125 copper and like 250 silver from the cobalts each. Yeah. To us. I don't know. We don't have a bookkeeper in this game, apparently, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, just, I, I know I, what I, deal I have. With my, yeah, I deal with my own money. So. <laughs> yeah. But I no, know yeah, what so I have, you, and I know I haven't spent any. You'd have like a few money. hundred silver, Drake. And I think I started with 10, yeah. 10 gold pieces. So, yeah, like they, they're asking for. The exchange rate is still the same between gold and silver in this place. But in the dwarven areas, they the currency is not quite as undervalued. Or overvalued, I guess. Yeah, because. So, yeah, not that your character doesn't necessarily understand the macroeconomics of this, but. Essentially, in this part of the world, the only source of coinage that is minted is from the dwarves. So basically, the dwarves have a roughly equal kind of currency exchange rate, like the kingdoms you guys are used to on the other side of the world. The, <laughs> the, the so... difference is that all the human and elven kingdoms pretty much don't... They only, they only get a trickle from trade with the dwarves, so... So, Torgir, are you going to pay this man an equivalent of 10 gold pieces for this cart, or not? <laughs> kind of... I kind of want the booze, so I suppose so. <laughs> like, hey, Mr. Yeah. Dwarf Man, how about 8 gold pieces... Mm. Roll me a persuasion check. Mm. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. Listen, uh, business is good here. I don't really need to be bartering. Uh, if you and about the car, someone probably. If you don't, if you don't buy the car, someone will probably come along by tomorrow. Lots of stuff like that gets lost or damaged up in the hills here, you know? For the ten gold pieces, can you make some modifications for it? At least? He'll think on it. He'll, he'll nod. He's like, uh, what, uh, what type, uh, what you got? Ox or elk? It's an elk. Here, let me let me see it. He'll like walk outside. I'm assuming Greeny's there with you. <laughs> yeah, he'll be he'll be hanging out at the closest available spot. He's not like yeah, absolutely in the way. Yeah, no, he he could admit, the the dwarf comes out. He's, he's like, oh my lord, uh, is that uh, 
That's your elk there? That's my elk there. <sighs> yeah, you know what? For ten, ten gold, I'll, I'll uh, see what I can do. Sounds good. Yeah, he'll he'll make some modifications so that it can at least like, you can attach like a like some stuff to make it actually work. <laughs> some extensions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, all right. So you have a cart now. The cart the cart can hold. Uh, I don't know. It's, it doesn't necessarily say. I don't think, but like. It weighs 200 pounds, the cart does. So why don't we just use, like, the, the... In my mind, the easiest logic would be to say it could probably carry four times its weight. So, like, 800 pounds on top of the cart. Okay. That seems fair to me, because four to one is, like, a common ratio for... Yeah. Lots of I, weight stuff, so. Let's see. I know it says it somewhere. It might. It might actually be more than that. Yeah. Either way, I think we'll it's less than that. Oh, which yeah. is why I was okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, um, yeah. The uh, let's see. So then, okay. Uh, so you want to buy alcohol? How much yes. do you want? Uh, well, since I just bought a cart, let's go with like two kegs. Two kegs, okay. Uh, let's see, what is a normal keg? I think that's in like one of the. Uh, I think it's a barrel, but uh, let's see. Okay, okay, that's fine. We can base it off a barrel and then I can. Um... Okay, so. We will say. Uh. Okay, it's gonna be for two kegs, probably like, probably like uh, two gold pieces each. Actually, yeah. All right. So four gold pieces, or forty seven. You know. Yeah, they'll, they'll, those will last a while. So. Yeah. The, I mean, maybe um, if you're the one drinking them. Yeah, and are you sticking along with him, Landor? I am. Okay. Roll me a um, insight check. Okay, yeah. So as you're kind of like, you know, you're just keeping an eye and ear out as you're like walking around town. This place definitely is like um pretty well guarded. There's like there's quite a few city guards that are walking around um and stuff. And, uh, they kind of give you guys looks, but don't mm, seem to mess with you. But what you do notice as you're kind of just walking around between these places on this, this errand, uh, you do notice that they seem to be a little on edge. A lot of people, actually, in the town seem to be a little on edge. And when you're in the tavern, you actually hear people talking about this. Um, talking about just, um, the situation in general. You actually overhear them talking about how apparently there's been a lot more activity on the roads recently. A lot more caravans getting raided when they're going over the hills. And up towards the pass. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will pry into their conversation a little bit. Okay. Yeah, they, they like, uh, it would be... Like uh, some dwarves, and they'd be like, they'd be like "Oh!" As you kind of like butt in, and they're like, they're like uh, "You overheard us there." Indeed, I did. What? Uh, what are you, anyways? Uh, I don't understand the question. You're, you look human, but you're not. You're much bigger. Yep. Yep. You got it. Well. uh... <clears throat> Yeah, no, the, uh, there's been, uh, quite a few, uh, attacks. Uh, would you happen to know what is attacking? Well, on, uh, some caravans have completely disappeared coming over the pass. And others, uh, 
Others have left some signs behind. Mangled bodies. People say it's a troll, probably. Has anybody uh, made it back here from an attack? You've heard about it somehow, obviously. Yeah, a, a couple did. Uh, most of the time, though, it's been like people afterwards have been going up the the path and seen wreckage. God, I think the uh, Captain Lagarde's got a bounty out on the this troll or whatever it is. Would you happen to know anybody uh, left in the town that was attacked? <clears throat> I think... Uh... I think a halfling, uh, name of Old Jimmy. I think he was, uh, he was there. Where can I find this Old Jimmy? Uh, yeah, no, he's got a, he's got a shack right outside the walls. He'd tell you where it is. Like, next to, he would be like, ah, oh, it's next to the little water mill that's there. Alright, well, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Torgir. Yeah. Uh, our next two destinations have been set. Okay. I'm just bringing Torgir along with me now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll come along. Yeah. We're going to go to the guard, like the main guard building, wherever yeah. they seem to, to populate. Yeah, there's like a barracks. Um, I I'm here about the the bounty you have set on whatever's attacking uh, travelers along the road, the main road. Yeah, there would just be a guard here, and they'd be like, "Ah, yeah, you're uh, you're here about that." Uh, yeah, no, our captain, the guard. Uh, um, you know, let me get a name. Hold on, I have a list of names. Oh, baby, Bo. His name is Bo. There you go. Uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, our captain of the guard, uh, uh, Bo, he, uh, he, he set a bounty. Um, a few different groups have gotten attacked in the past couple weeks, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard. Yeah, it's uh, about, uh, oh god, now I gotta think of an amount that it would be set for. Well, I mean, what is the trade of uh, the town worth to you, you know? It'd probably be the bounty itself. Uh, this person who's just Sounds a guard. priceless to me. <laughs> this guard here is just like, they don't they don't care about their rhetoric. They're just a guard. Uh, they're, they're like, uh, they're like yeah, no, the bounty is for, for 100 gold. Uh, if you want to talk to Bo about more, you know. Yeah, where can I find Bo? Uh, I, here, I'll, I'll go get him. I'll go get him. You, you just wait here. And yeah, you're probably at like uh, out like outside. They have like a barracks and probably like a like some facilities, and they have like a, mm. a desk here, right? Like um, uh, yeah. So no, they would uh, they would go to um, go around and come back in a few minutes with a a like burly dwarf in like um some kind of like uh, probably like half plate armor actually. Which is, um, yeah, not anything you've seen on anyone else around here. Um, he's got some half plate armor, and he's got like a, he's got braided beards. Um, and he he comes up to you, he's like, ah, there, my volunteer, and he like holds out his hand to shake yours. I hold out my hand and see what he does with it. Yeah, he gr grabs it, clasps it very, uh, like, uh, heartily, you know. And shakes it. Can, can can he get his hand around my hand? He, he basically puts <laughs> both of his on yours like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he does his best. Yeah, I, that's why I just sort of stuck it out there. See what he, see what yeah. he does. I and then he kind of like rests his hands on his uh, on his hips, where he's got like a, a couple different weapons there. Like a, he's got like a war hammer and a, a sword and a, a shield as well. And he's like he's like <clears throat> he's like. Uh, Heard you're asking about the bounty. I haven't had any takers on that one. Nasty thing, those those uh, those trolls, you know. Yeah. Um, well, you see, we plan on going that direction anyway. So. Yeah. Ah, travelers. So, are you, huh? 
Yeah, so we're likely going to have to deal with it regardless of your bounty. So I figured I would talk to you about it anyway. It's one of those things where we actually, we have a sizable uh, group of uh, caravans here waiting to to go up because they don't want to risk it. So, you know, we kind of got a little backup as it is. Here's, I, here's the only issue, uh, Mr. Man. Um, once we go, we are not going to return for a long time. Hmm. So, so if we deal with this, one, it won't be a long time till we recover a bounty for it, and two, we aren't coming back to tell you about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He. I have to write some down my notes to, to remind myself. <laughs> um. He's like. He's like. Uh, he thinks about this for a good few seconds, and he's like. Well, I'll tell you what, you seem like, you seem like a uh, good business thinker, so we can work out a deal. How about this, um, hmm. yeah, bounty for the troll is, uh, 100 gold, as I'm sure, uh, Indeed. my, uh, yeah, my companion here. And he, like, slaps uh, the lower-ranking guard on the back. And they're like, Ugh. as they uh, told you, um, can't really do too much of an upfront payment. But that's okay, because here's the deal. About a day's travel, a uh, day and a half, depending on the weather, up the road from here towards the pass. That's where you're heading, right? Correct. Yeah, so about a, about a day and a half's travel up uh, up the road, there's actually a checkpoint. Just really nothing more than just a gate at, um, uh, at a little bit of a, a path that's been chiseled out through the side of the mountain. You know, a choke, po choke point in times of war, in times of peace, uh, you know, a border checkpoint, right? Um, sure. And, uh... I, they don't have a ton of money up there on their own, the, the guards there, but if I send you with a note and my seal on it, I can just have them pay you the rest up there. Okay. I mean, that sounds good. And then... I, I would recommend I bringing if it, them... If it's, if it's dealt with, uh, somebody can just come back here and tell you. Exactly, yeah, yes, yeah, one of our guards from that checkpoint will come back. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it at that point. This checkpoint's on your way, it's where you'll be going anyways. Uh, so, yeah, in that case then, what I can do is I can give you a, a quarter up front, 25 up front. And then if you bring them the troll head and the letter, the other 75 is yours. My sounds lieutenant, good to me. Yeah, my lieutenant up there, uh, he'd give you a name, it would be... Lieutenant Dan. Half Dan. There you go. So, he's a halfling. No, he's a dwarf, but same thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you're certain it's a troll? He's like, well, no one's seen it. Uh, at least I don't think anyone has that lived, but uh, some people ran from it, maybe got a glimpse. But the damage it dealt looks like troll claws, uh, the bites it took out of people. One thing we did see is that it, it there was some sections of the ground that were soaked in this weird liquid. We weren't sure what it is. All right. Well, you could say I'm somewhat of a fluid master. <laughs> Bruh. He, he doesn't know what to do. He's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Means I'd be able to identif identify it. Oh, yeah. If, no, I have, it, if I have to spell it out for you. I mean, we don't have any here, you know. But if you pass one of the sites where they were attacked, you'll you'll see it. Okay. It's probably um, on your way up, up, up in the hills. We don't know where this anyway. thing is. We assume it's got a cave somewhere, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, troll or not, we'll bring you the head of whatever it is. He nods. He's like, yeah, don't get yourself killed out there. Be, be careful. 
Well, if we do get ourselves killed, uh, maybe you can retrieve the 25 gold back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yep. Uh, I like how Tori here has just been chilling here the whole time. Yeah. yeah. I can't understand a single word that's being said. Actually, yeah, as yeah. You, you're going... I, I, would, I would reiterate the conversation that had just happened for Torgir. As you kind of, like... We, we received 25 gold. As you're walking out, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, what happened to your friends either, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I look at my friend. What's wrong with your eye? Long story. The guy shrugs and nods. He's like, all right. Well, good luck and, uh... Uh, His eyes do weird things a lot of the time. I'll have your I'll have your coin when you uh, just come by here again in a bit. Um, well, before you head out, and I'll have the coin. Sounds good. Yeah, you guys head out. Yeah, we're going to to. Fuck, oh, I forgot what his name is Old already. Old Jimmy. Old Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say Little Bo. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bo is the, the captain. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, old Jimmy. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, old Jimmy is chilling at his uh, shack next to the water mill. You'd find him. He matches the description. An old little halfling. He's kind of, he's actually fishing in the river right now. All right, well, I'll just go, like, sit down next to him then. He's like, he's like oh, my God, you're so big. Uh, thanks. What the? Uh, how, how can I help you? He would say in Dwarvish, heard... but, like, not sure. I I heard that you, uh, were attacked by whatever whatever is lurking upon the roadway. Oh, yeah, you're talking about that there troll, huh? So it is a troll. Oh, yeah, I saw full on my own two eyes. I mean, it was night, you... but I didn't really get a good look at it. But it was a troll, all right. Can you describe it for me? Big old thing, bloated belly, nasty looking, like, uh, sores all over it, as far as I could tell, but, uh, didn't see much else. That doesn't sound like a troll. No, it was a troll, all right. It was, it was tall as one, walked like one. Snarled like one. Yeah, but but the things you're talking about aren't. I mean, like just ate. I don't know why he's a got troll, a big belly. You know? <laughs> okay, well, uh, you've been more than helpful. Enjoy your fishing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I will. I... <laughs> uh. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I look back at Torgir and explain that we are likely not going to be fighting a troll. Any idea what it is? Um, he said it was large, like a troll, uh, but had a big belly and sores all over it. That sound like anything to me? Oh, roll me like or, a... or me. Roll me like an Arcana check. Twelve. Nine. Nope. This just sounds like a weird troll. If that's what it, if it, you know, does not sound like the trolls that you guys have heard of before. Are you sure it's not just like a big fat one? It could be a big fat one, but what are the sores all over? It? An injured big fat one. It's been injured the entire time, forever. Because this I wouldn't guess. be. This certainly wouldn't be the first. Uh, the first time it had sores on it. As I had iterated to you previously, Bo said that there was some type of weird fluid that it left behind. Maybe I was like an allergy to something. And it's got pustules <laughs> all over it. 
Hmm, you're right. Maybe we should talk to my brother. Uh, maybe he can come up with a cure for the for the allergies, and it will become our friend. B. All right, plan's been set. Back to Adric. Okay, yeah, you guys head back. Meanwhile, have Rook and uh, Adric done anything in town? Any shopping? This is a, even though this is a smallish town, it is again a, you know, it's a point of convergence between lots of different, like, kind of trade routes. So, you could actually find a good bit of stuff here. <clears throat> like, there would be, you could definitely find, like, potions, basic potions at least. Oh, with the with the newfound cart, I would like to get sort of just my my basic spice array that I would have okay. I would have had in the ship. Yeah, gotcha. And I could whenever, fill up my javelins. Sorry. Whatever exotic okay. uh, spices there may be in town. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Honestly, if you just want to spend like, uh, let's say you spend like five gold, and that'll get you like a bunch of exotic spices. That'll okay. last a very long time. And, and basically, you could apply them, right? If you ever want to like specifically use them to make a, to spice up a certain dish in an extravagant way, just let me know, and you would use some of it. But like, otherwise, I'll assume you're you were using a little bit here and there. Yeah. So javelins. I guess. Let's see. I thought he had done that before we left. Did you use a? Bunch on the cobalts. What the javelins? Yeah. I didn't fill up my javelins. No. I thought they had given them to you in the village. Yeah, they did. They, they did. gave you. A, they filled you up to whatever you had before, which was like six or something like that. No. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Well, then I'm not gonna get any javelins. You could just buy a bag of javelins if you want. No. You have the cart now, you know. Just have a whole cart of javelins. <laughs> to be fair, they don't know about the cart yet. They would also yeah. have they would also have armor here, like from dwarven mining cities and forge cities up in the mountains. Fine dwarven armor. Mm. Mithra. Mmm. Roll me an investigation check. Oh, I think that's the first one I've ever done. Hmm. hmm. Let's see here. Um. Let me look real quick. Mm -hmm. You uh, you don't speak any languages, do you? So <laughs> you don't speak no, Dwarvish. No, I would need someone to come with me. You would need like Ad would Adric be willing to go with him on his shopping trip? You know the awkward thing about that is we do not have a we do not have a uh, language between us. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, funny. okay. I guess I'll just wait. I'll wait until uh, okay. Landor comes back. Yeah. Interestingly enough, the the cook is also going to have to be the translator for the entire group. Yeah, I mean the cook is usually uh, first in multiple languages, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess Adric is gonna put together a herbalism kit. I don't don't imagine they just like have a whole kit pre-made, but you know. Yeah, you could what get all the stuff you need. Kit, anyway. It would just be like what the what is the base price of a herbalism kit? Um, because you could spend some money to get the stuff you need and get pouches for things, you know. It's actually, I believe they're considered a tool. Yeah, it says herbalism five, kit is five gold. gold. I'd say five gold sounds about reasonable. Yeah, and contains various instruments such as clippers, mortar, and pestle. Pouches and vials used yeah. for herbalism. So yeah, I'd be getting various yeah, things for a herbalism kit along with dried herbs. Mm-hmm. So uh Yeah, Tart, there is actually a um in one of the uh in one of the uh the shops you go into, which we it would be with like Landor. Well I guess here, yeah, we can get to that in a second. We'll say that the that Landor and Torgir first come back from their little uh trip. Um to the group, so you guys can talk about <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Hello, group. You know, we should really make a name for ourselves. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. What would you like to call us? Mm -hmm. I haven't thought that far. Thought you had some suggestions. Uh, we could be called... Uh... Landor's lads. The... Yep. We could, we could be called... Giants. <laughs> <laughs> the giant hunters? Yo. <laughs> we could be called the true giants. Come on, guys. We need a, we need a catchy name for the merchandise. Hold on. Landor pulls out his name generator. <laughs> No, but so you guys are going to talk about the, the plan for everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I, about this. Landor, I'd let you know that I'd like to go shopping. <laughs> if you'd join me and help translate. Yeah. We can Thank think you. of a... We can think of a... A name while we while we go. I mean, yeah, there's lots of time, safe I think. to just talk and walk, considering... Yeah. You know... Nobody speaks most of the languages we speak. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Um, as you're kind of like looking around, this is probably like you guys are discussing things as basically Rook is like, you go to like the market area of this uh, place and then Rook is just kind of like looking through these like tables that have weapons and armor laid out on them. After a while of looking around, um, Rook does actually uh, notice that there is like kind of a um, like an armor stand, and Rook uh, is actually um, in the area that he had grown up and was raised. There was actually um, a small, there was actually a vein of mithril that uh, that the orcs there discovered. And so he actually knows what Mithril looks like. It was like a very valued resource that the, his uh, clan didn't really like um, use for everything, but they, they used it sparingly. But they uh, they did have a, a mine of Mithril that they would mine out and make weapons from. Um, mm. Not enough to you know flood that area with it, but enough where he knows what the what Mithril looks like. And so as he kind of uh, is looking around, he sees something. And he looks at it, he's like, that's definitely Mithril. He thinks to himself. And actually, there's a, the Dwarven Merchant, it looks like, who's basically set up a little shop here. Is uh, It's clearly not from this. It's not like a blacksmith in this town. It's just a merchant who's carrying the goods. He is, like, <laughs> looking... Um, he's actually talking to another dwarf right now about it. Okay, what uh, what is it, and would it fit me? Mm-hmm. It is, uh, it would fit you. It is, um, it is scale mail, which is medium oh, okay. armor. And how much would that increase so, my armor class? So that by, would yeah. be, uh, what is your dex modifier? It is one. One. So you're, it would be, it's 14 plus dex modifier. So it'd be 15. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. What is the does Mithra have any other benefits? I don't remember. No, it's just that it's lighter. Mm. It is lighter. And it doesn't impose disadvantage on stealth checks, which scale mail does normally, so It's I'm no longer interested in the Mithril armor. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forget if it does this in 5e, because Yeah. I I know it did in one of the editions, or at least one of the editions that I played, but uh, you also don't need proficiency. Like, you need proficiency in the tier lower than the armor requires normally. But that might have been in a different edition. Yeah, I don't, I don't think remember. that's in this one. But yeah, so, yeah. So, unfortunately, yeah, because you already have 15 EC, don't you? Well, I have 14. Oh, 14. I mean, yeah, yeah we raise it up by one. Yeah, but I could just pump. 
a point into dex next level. Well, but it would also <laughs> the, then it would be a sixteen level with or whatever. it though. Like it's it's no, because that's only if that's only if I'm unarmored that I get the dex plus con. Yeah, to my that's what I'm saying. Class. Is the yeah. scale mail is fourteen plus dex with a max of two. But if you had like plus two dex, it could be sixteen with the scale mail. Yeah. But I see what you're saying. Yeah, I miss only a, an increase of one. Yeah, if I have plus two dex, then it's already sixteen without the scale mail. Oh, is it, wait. Yeah. Well, what do you got now then? You're. Well, I'm at one one dex plus three con. Gives yeah. my armor class. So you only go up to fifteen yeah. though. If you went. If I have. Oh, I th I'm like adding plus yeah. two more to my decks. Yeah. But it's not. It's one point isn't worth. No, it's how not much that this is. Yeah. yeah. Just from looking what at it, you can tell that the prices are gonna be pretty high. Yeah. I mean, I have some diamonds, but. You do have those diamonds, yeah. Yeah. Still not worth. Um. Yeah, I gotta go stir some food in my slow cooker, so. Discuss, you can discuss other stuff you look for real quick. I'm sure you should get a fast cooker instead. <laughs> you know, any air fryers here? I We have one, but I don't really like it for most things. I only like air fryers for french fries. Everything else is kind of... I could get a shield. You could, you could. Yeah. Do you have one-handed weapons? Is a great sword two-handed? Yes. Only two-handed. Mm. You can okay, hold then... it in one hand, but you can't swing it in one hand. Okay. <laughs> so then I'm not gonna get a shield. <laughs> Ooh. I am back. I don't know. Does the shield count as armor? Um. Uh, uh, depends on what you mean. Not by for that. my unarmored. Defense not yeah. Specific. Unarmored defense okay. specifies. Yeah. Yeah. So for him, for that specific thing, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, they don't have. It also doesn't count as armor for I think it's the defensive fighting style. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it's a separate category, right? You have like you have light armor, but like it, armor. it is an it is an armor proficiency that yeah. is almost always bundled with medium armor proficiency. It's just a portable half cover. Mm hmm. But yeah, so um. Yeah, no, so, like, you could find any type of normal armor. Well, you probably wouldn't be able to find half plate or plate. But, like, you could find any other type of normal armor. Like, uh, well, like, for the giant boys, probably not in your size, actually. So, yeah, Torgir, you want armor? <laughs> I can't Ma magic, wear it. Magic armor re resizes to the wear. The yeah, but no, yeah. I'm saying this is all normal. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we wanted the mithril, that's mithril's magic. not really. It's ma it's magic. it's it's a magical metal, but it's not considered magic. Yeah. Either. You don't have to attune to it or anything like that. It's. Or it's I guess not even magic metal. It's just. It's not. It's just a. Fantasy it's just metal. a very fancy metal with special properties, right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, I have a. I have a specific name. There, mithril in my world isn't said, really called that, but that said, it, it works it, the same way. People get confused because it's mithril and adamantine are put into the magical item lists, which is why, if say uh, in a high level game, you're given like, what is it, a free rare item, people often times take adamantine plate armor. Yeah. But yeah, no, the um, the name for mithril in my in my world is is different but it works the same way it's just a re i just thought of a new na a name that i fit i thought fit better the dwarven name which is the one that you guys would all use as well would be ice flick i don't use that yeah, yeah what's yeah. the orc name I, I i don't name anything anything ice flick is the one it would be used by dwarves giants the northerners so like ice flick is like the the one that you guys would have heard the most at least Hey, Drag. Yeah? What's the cube that turns into a... into a magic fort? <laughs> I... forget... what it's called. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you... I, I can tell you if you give me, like, 30 seconds. Would you guys... Need to know this so, instance, so, yeah, sure. Again, there are, um... Like, the, this is... The reason I'm asking if you guys want something is because this is the last town you'll be in where you'd probably be able to find stuff for... A little bit. Yeah. Darren's instant fortress. Yeah. Yeah. 
Can I can I find Darren's instant no. fire pit? You could find a scroll with the cantrip create bonfire. Maybe. <laughs> that, no. That sounds they, like what a is really uh... bad version of what I want. <laughs> no, you would not be able to find that. Okay. Well, I'll keep looking. <laughs> they got any fancy shields? You could probably find a plus one shield. Ideally big, but I guess te technically even if it's... It wouldn't matter. It know, would... A normal dwarf one, it would just turn into a buckler for my character. Yeah, exactly. It'd be a buckler, which would be... It would still be plus two, or, you know. Uh, it, it would just be a little small on you, but it's still going to work for its purposes. Yeah, you can find a, you can find a shield, honestly. Um, a plus one shield would be like... Hmm, 75 gold. A plus one shield is only 75 gold? Yeah. In this town, at least. Damn, son. I'm on it. You want to buy that? Do you, have, do you have 75 gold? I have an equivalent amount, yeah. You have 70, yeah. 750 silver or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could buy it. Yeah. They would have... Um, there would be a plus one shield or two, even. Uh, it would... Uh, it's one of those things where... Um, the I mean, it's not going to be your pan, though, you know. No, I'm just going to put it on the inside of the pan. Put it on the... <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just hmm. laminate. It's the, it's the, yo, it's like a big old wok. It's a, the lid. All right, I'll let you do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you put it on the there. the lid of the pan. You put it on there, but what I will say is that it's possible the rest of the pan, the, the pan might break at some point. Whereas the plus one shield won't. Well, yeah, if things are things are hitting the shield, then yeah, the pan's safe behind it. Yeah. So but you're saying it, there, there are two plus one shields. If if you ever get crit by like a great club from like a giant or something like that, uh, there's gonna be a chance that the pan shatters. <laughs> shield will still be fine because it's magically enchanted, but you know. Yeah. If there are multiple, so so what? Is... If we if we get hit by any giant club, our armor shatters. No, just the pan because unless it's, uh... it's, unless it's magic. No, I'm just saying uh, the pan is gonna start getting outclassed because it's a pan. It's not meant to undergo this sort of uh, of abuse, you know. You get the pan enchanted at some point, but there's no enchanters. Have here. you have you ever seen a a nice cast iron pan? Yeah, dude. There's a. Uh, have you ever seen a giant smacking someone with a great club the size of a tree? I'm just saying. No, because great gonna, clubs. If you're gonna great clubs aren't that, real. If you're if you're gonna implement that, then that should count for any non-magic armor. No, basically, I'm saying you should try to get the pan. You either have to get the pan upgraded itself, or you have to live with the risk of it shattering. Yeah, I'm saying if. If you're gonna uphold that standard for the pan, then it should happen for the rest of the armor as well. It's not magic. No. That's a hate crime, then. <laughs> yes, it's an anti-giant pan hate crime. Um. You heard no. it here first. No, I'm Both just saying, you, if crime, you want to use the pan, it's not gonna be able to. You know, you can use the shield or the pan. You can get the pan upgraded at some point, but you know. <laughs> um, let's see. So, do you guys buy anything else? Like, there's there's potions and scrolls here. None well, that are too rare, but I guess I will also get a shield if there's multiple. Yeah, there's there. It'll be seventy five gold each. Mm -hmm. Seven hundred silver and five gold. <laughs> That's a lot of coin off my character. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Shield. Is that all what that... Even what do shields even cost? Normally. Yeah. Ten normally, but it's a plus one, so it's a lot more. Alright, can I huck my old one for some money? For then? five, yeah, you can get yeah. five back for that. 
So back up to 25. <laughs> All right. So, are you guys then, uh... You're gonna go off in search of this troll? How far away was it, supposedly? I mean, it's just on our path that we're going on anyway. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. It's one of those ones well, where... It, it does matter, because, like, if we're going to run into it, I might not have time to prepare spells for it. Oh. I mean, no, we can stay rest here, here as long as you want. Yeah, you could just rest overnight and then get going. We could, we could stay here for a year if we wanted. You could, yeah. Just, uh... Boat to stay here for a year? I, I saw a little cute orc the other uh, in the market today. I might no, go and talk to her. There's no I don't believe here. you. Wow. Orcs don't exist. Uh, yeah. There are wow. zero. Oh, this is not, orc we're erasure. Not far. <laughs> we're not too far from my my boo thing in the woods. Yeah. No, like, but no, legit though. You have not seen a single orc since uh, yeah. we arrived here. So yeah, we maybe, don't exist. Maybe they exist. Maybe just not here. You know. <coughs> maybe that's what's on the road. <laughs> yeah, oh, orcs no. here are actually all trolls. <laughs> um, but no, so, uh, oh yeah, you guys no, could rest. No, there's a bork, man. You guys could rest overnight. Uh, sure. However, you guys have, are you guys all, like, you have a little <laughs> camp set up outside of town? You certainly don't fit in their inns. Okay, yeah. So as you kind of have a little... Town, a little uh, camp set up right outside of the town. You have like a campfire um, or whatever. You would actually be approached as you're kind of eating your dinner by like a, a young uh, a young man. Uh, Zena's just been like chilling by the way and like uh, she probably would have grabbed some stuff for like her magics but other than that. Um, the uh, There is a, uh, a, a young man maybe like about 20 years old uh, walks up to you all. He's in kind of like these loose-fitting robes. He's human. A human. And he's like, um... He, he walks up and he's like, um... Hello there. Uh, this would be... Uh... He'd actually... It would be in giant. He's actually gonna... He would start speaking in giant. He'd be like, um, hello there. Um, can I speak to you all for a moment? Mm, you're speaking to us right now. Are you, uh, are you, are you giants? Uh, we are definitely large, yes. As in, are you, are you descended of frost, gi frost giants, storm giants? Hmm, that cannot be confirmed or denied. Because it's just, I, I've, I've read about giants in my books, but I've never, never met one before. Uh, I mean, we're fairly similar to the things in this land that claim to be giants. You talk about the the greater giants, them. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm it, I I pull out the hammer and the Volge. These belong to them. So, is that the Volge? Yeah, of, that's the Volge of Hilda the Volge. Of Hilda the Volge. Probably don't mention that you've seen this since. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, probably looks, never mention this because you will likely be killed. He looks shocked. He's he's like, "You're telling me that you were in a fight with? Did you kill Hilda?" No, she ran away no, like she a bitch. Ran away, <laughs> yeah, like a like a little weenie with her. I guess not her bulge between her legs because it's right here. <laughs> They're like um. This this guy's like um. He's like I. He, he's like looking around, and then he, he like looks at um, Torgir, and he's like, he's like, um, are you? And then, and then he kind of looks at uh, like Adric. He looks back and forth between the two. He's like, you two are, are magic users, aren't you? Not exactly, no. I, there's something about you. I, I, I've been training, you see, and, and I can sense things now a little bit better than I used to be able to at least. Yeah, from what I can tell, the magic uses him more than the other way around. Right, you are. Are you... <gasps> Do you tap into magic itself? Fuck if I know. 
Tapping isn't really what he does to it, <laughs> more what it does to him. I've always wanted to meet someone like that. Well, I have met others, but they control it a little better. Imagine, imagine... I blew myself tap. up once. Imagine a tap on a tree, and you don't have control of the valve. Right? He literally, he pulls out... He's the tap. He pulls out a notebook from, like, his, uh, like, cloak, and he starts, like, taking notes. He's like tap tapping a tree without a valve and then. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Where are we? Like in the camp outside of town. Like this is dinner time. You're eating your dinner and this dude just walked up and started talking to you. <laughs> Look, if you're, if you're gonna want to keep talking to us, you could at least buy us a drink first. <laughs> yeah, buy us a drink out here. Yeah. He goes, runs off to a bar and gets a bottle. <laughs> yeah, he like looks at. He's like, I there's not. Uh, I mean, I. I I don't really have a lot of money. I, you see, I... Okay. So I, I've been holed up here for a bit because they say it's not safe to travel. You know, I'm, I'm on my way back to my to my university, you know? And where would that be? Uh, it's it's far to the west, over the mountains. You're... You probably haven't heard of it. How far over the mountains? Is it by the monolith? <laughs> He's like... <The> polylith? <laughs> He would oh, name right. it. I need, I, need, I need to put the polylith on the map again. He would name a city uh, that you guys do have on your map. It's uh, it's actually this one right up here. Mm. Which I don't have a name for yet. But for now, we'll just call it University Town. <laughs> so we don't Classic. lose track of which one it is. I'll have a name for it eventually, but yeah. He names the university and the and the city that it's in. <clears throat> so what exactly do you learn there? Oh, we learn how to how to channel the the magics in the world around us. It's incredible. I, I'm I'm still starting out, really, but uh, I can at least do a little bit. Uh, Edric would motion for a demonstration. Yeah, he would, uh, he would cast, um, what's a first level spell that a wizard would have? Be like, a magic missile, there you go. He casts magic missile at a tree nearby. So three bolts of magic energy go pew 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 and shoot out and hit the tree. Impressive. He's like he looks at uh, you, Adric, and he's like he's like, and you, I can I can I can tell that you you use magics too. Certainly not like that, though. He nods. He's he's like. <sighs> and I'd also say not necessarily like the people you might associate me with that live here. He nods. He's, he's like, well, I, if you'd like, I could demonstrate more of my magical abilities. Nah, it's 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 fine. You should save up your your abilities. You might need them out here. I don't know if you want to practice them around us. Go ahead. Well, what I was thinking. I don't know, do you think there's anything you guys can teach me? Nope. I could teach you how to cook a mean meal. Oh, well, I mean... I mean, one of my teachers said that cooking and, and magic are very similar in many ways, but... Well, I don't know any magic, but... David said that, uh... They were really into... into into their cuisine uh, they said that the best meal is better than the best spell but I don't know how true that is there was a couple of times you almost made a potion accidentally <laughs> <laughs> whoa that's really impressive <sighs> I, I, I pull out the bottle of like sea liquid or uh, astral oh, no. liquid <laughs> yo give him the bottle that won't cause uh... any long term consequences <laughs> Well, um, I mean, you could use this if you wanted. He's like, oh, what is that? It's, it looks, uh, what is that? 
it's been it's been hit or miss with uh, with the people I've tried it on, but it's essentially water. And as far as I can tell, depending on the person, either they think it's amazing or disgusting. Um, he reaches out. Are you gonna like let him drink it? Yeah. All of it. He's gonna chug it. I don't know how much did you have. I, I don't remember. No, like multiple like potion bottles okay yeah, yeah so you just gonna let him drink one yeah yeah he drinks it and then he like he's like glug, glug, glug. he's like he stops he's like I, it just tastes like water hmm. apparently that's what you expected it to taste like well it was salt water for me hmm. and he drinks the rest and he's like, he's like oh man it does, it feels a little weird. Like, I feel like, huh. I don't know. Well, you, you did drink a substance that isn't from this planet. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you you have three weeks to live. Ah! <clears throat> He's joking. We've been along, we've been alive a lot longer than that. Oh, oh God, okay. Cool. Yeah, just don't blink, drink the black goo. I wasn't sure how I was going to tell my, my parents if I died. Uh. Well, it wouldn't be a problem. You wouldn't get to them. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm actually going to hand him the black wood well. He's like, what is, what is this? Uh, I wouldn't recommend drinking it, but if you ever get back to the university, maybe they'll have a, a use of it. Okay. Well... It comes from the same, uh, the same world that the water comes from. He nods. He's like, he's like I, I'll hold on to it. I'm definitely not going to drink that one. It looks a little weird. Yeah, would not recommend drinking that. All right. Add a fact <laughs> that wizards trying to abduct us to the list. So he's like, he's like, say, um, are you guys about to head over the pass? You look like the type that. Indeed, we are. Would you yeah. mind if I went with you? I mean, I don't know how you'd tell your parents that you died. Well, I mean, it's one of those things where I don't want to just be waiting here. I've been waiting here for weeks. Hmm. You're from, well, relatively local. <sighs> Do you know what this would be? And then Adric would describe what is supposedly a weird troll. Oh yeah, give him the descriptor of the, the troll uh, we got. Here, let's roll... No. He's like, he's like, sounds like a fat, weird troll, I don't know. Well. I only took a, an intro to, to uh, Monstrosity's course, I never got that far. As long as fire still burns, that we should be fine. He shrugs, he's I like... He's like, so... You're saying I can't come with you? You can come with, but don't pro don't expect us to protect you if something attacks. I mean, I can stay back out of the way. That's up to you. Just stay away from that one. And points at Tor Gear. He might blow up again. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. What about that one? And he he like motions to Rook, who has been mostly silent because he doesn't understand the language he speaks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, just. <laughs> Why is he pointing at me? <laughs> uh, he wants to arm wrestle. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. I'm gonna <laughs> sit down at a table and get in the position and stare him down. Yeah, the the growling the, a bit. The guy's like, uh, what is that about? Uh, this is how his people greet each other. <laughs> his Test people. Of strength. Where is he from? Some backwoods some, somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> The guy goes over and he, he like sits down. And he's like, I don't think I'm really strong enough to do this, but I'll, I'll give it my best. <laughs> All right. Better. It's an insult if you don't try hard. He, okay, he nods. He looks at Rook and he's like, Rrr! he like grunts are back. Gonna, are we going to roll for this? Yeah, roll me. Roll me athletics check. Uh, All right. I... Oh, no. <laughs> you got to roll. Oh, that's not that good, actually. He has a penalty to his role because he's like scrawny. He's a he's a wizard in training, you know. 
I, I, I was going to give you oh my actually, God. actually, <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh, come on, dude. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and use my bend luck ability to spend oh, two fuck. sorcery points and give him a D4. Who the kid? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he already wins. Oh baby, he the kid like is like it's one of those things where like uh, the. The kid, like, kind of just, it takes you off guard, because he goes like, eh, and he's, like, really trying. Rook was kind of like, oh, oh, this will be fun, in his head. And then the, the kid just goes, oh, bam, before he even realizes what's happening. Uh, oh, my God. The kid gets up, and he's like, yeah, I did it! I did it! I'm strong! I'm going to be, like, falling out of where I'm sitting laughing. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, maybe you can take place of uh, our main fighter then. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah, we got some extra weapons. Let's give him a halberd. Hmm. Well, yeah, no, the, or voles um... or whatever. Yeah, the, the kid <laughs> I will... Toss, right. I toss the like huge hammer on the ground and say, see if you can pick that up. <laughs> he goes oh, over bro, and he's like, and he can, he can, but he's pretty weak. He's got like an I eight. Used my, he's uh... got like an eight strength score, so... Should have used my mace of terror before. Yeah, <laughs> made him just run away. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So he, uh, yeah. So he, he. If you let him join you, he's going to like literally set up a little tent next to your guys and join your crew. Yeah, at least for I the say time. let him join. I respect him. He, he can beat join me. at least till we get to the, uh, the like checkpoint. Yeah, at mm -hmm. least where he will likely, you know, <laughs> journey north off and we'll to the go north. south. Yeah. Well, yeah. The checkpoint is like. It would be on like the other side of the mountains, which is a few... There's a couple towns up there in the mountains, too, that you would probably go through together. Um, but yeah, he'll... Uh, his name is is Kahlo, by the way. In common, like our common, okay. uh, I'm going to say we should give this kid a nickname. I vote Trollbait. I think he understands most of that. <laughs> He, yeah, the, the languages are related. Uh, the language you speak is related to giant, but he doesn't speak it as giant as a native speaker. So he's like, he's like, ah, you said something about trolls there, but what was the rest? Sorry, I didn't catch that. What? What are you? Oh, he, what are you speaking, anyways? Uh, he was just. Don't saying, worry about uh, it. He was just saying you'll be uh, of use against the troll potentially. Oh, nice. I always like contributing. <laughs> uh, on group projects, I'm always the one who does the most work. I would recommend right. to you. He that, likes group uh, projects. That within within our travel together, I would recommend you take notes on that one. And I point at Torgir. He's like, oh yeah, I already am. If you're gonna glean anything from this other than safe travel, uh, he should be the most interesting. Okay, I'll yeah, follow so his every move. Don't worry if he starts foaming at the mouth randomly. It's happened a few times already. <laughs> if he randomly disappears and doesn't reappear for a long amount of time, that is normal. Should I stand where he disappeared from? No. no he he will reappear near us. Oh. Okay. Somehow. Okay, well. And he, and he starts, he's like taking notes on all this stuff. Can't wait for him to reappear when somebody's doing something awkward. Thought they had some private time. <laughs> he reappears in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and so he'll just uh, start to get to know you guys. He would ask about, like, Greeny and stuff like that, but, you know. And he would he would say hi to Xena, but Xena's fairly quiet. Xena at one point would ask you all, she's like, she would ask you guys, like, is, uh, like, what the plan is once you get to the other side of the mountains. Uh, talk to the people at the checkpoint. Yeah, well, that's like before the mountains, even. That's at the start of the mountains. She's saying more long term. She's like, she would really ask. It's really more like now, since you've already talked to one of the Fae that I she thought, knows. I thought it was on the opposite side of the mountains. Like, no. It's a day's travel. Near, like, near like the end of the. No, it's like right here. It's huh. only a checkpoint going into the mountains, right? So that's the only place that's been attacked, is right there? No, between there and where you currently are. 
It's like the stretch of uh, hills between the mountains, like pass, and the town. Oh, I misunderstood completely then. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize the pass was. It's a day and a half, half travel. A, half a millimeter between us and the start of that arrow. Yeah, it's about a day's a day and a half travel up the that way. Here, I'll... One sec. Yeah. Pass is, like, right there. So. Um, so, yeah, Xena is asking, like, long-term. Once you get to the other side of the mountains... Which, again, the mountains going through them will take, like, a, a good, like, week or so, probably. She's asking, basically, what's the plan? I don't know. I suppose it depends on who tries to kill us along the way. Okay. Why do you have something recommended, Xena? Is there something you want to do over there? She'd be like, she would be like, no, it, it's more like I'm just worried about Gela. She may have given us help with uh, Greeny here, and Greeny like snorts like, <laughs> um, but. Uh, I still don't trust her, or especially her sister. Uh, from when she looked at our map, I don't think our sister is anything that we have to worry about right now. Well, knowing how her sister works, anything that her, anything that Gela knows, her sister will as well. And there are others, Yeah, but too. even then, we're like a year travel away from her sister. There are others, too, though, and not all of them are as soft-spoken and kind as Gela. Well, well, you seem to know them quite well. Why don't you tell us more? Well, there are a few others that live on the continent here. Here, I gotta go look at my notes. There is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, she would say, like... There are a, a couple of other fae, like them, that roam these lands. Further west to the mountains are... Not these mountains, but the ones after... Many areas are a couple of other fey that we should watch out for. Uh, Will they go Would you after say us? we should have watched out for Gela? Yes, but her woods here, Gela can quickly travel and search every inch of the woods here. Her, the birds will act as her spies. That's how she was able to find us so quick, if I had to guess. Yeah. But here's here's the thing that I'm, I'm being confused about. Why should we watch out for them? Gela seemed nothing but helpful. Well. Because they're a fucking fae. You can't trust a fae. I can't trust you. Xena actually kind of... Xena nods and she's like... I hate to say it, but the thing is, the Fae, Gela is fine, but her sister and some of the others, they view, they view everyone else as lesser creatures. And even That's if they, okay. even if they leave you alone, it's most of the time because you're just not useful to their plans. I'm pretty sure everyone in this land is viewed us as lesser creatures. Us as giants are viewed as lesser. You as an elf are viewed as lesser. Right, well, you as a... Elf, but, you, know. you as a, a... What are you? A one-eyed person. You're viewed as lesser. <laughs> Looking at Torgir. <laughs> I just think we should be... We should be cautious of trusting them. That's all. As much as I... Well, your friend Torgir is correct that many of my kind are 
are prone to trickery. Mm. Okay, well, the, uh, there's you only can one stay person. here then, and we'll move on. There's only one person I trust, <laughs> and that's my brother, and I only trust him to be a fool. See? <laughs> What are you, brother? I go for a high five. <laughs> See, it's like, I, I, I won't, I won't trick you. You've saved me multiple times already. That's exactly what somebody who is tricking us would say. I agree. <laughs> who would I trick, trick you for? I, I have no allegiance your to you. Your own selfish maybe, reasons. Maybe her sister. Maybe Gella's sister. Maybe you're working with them. No, that's who I fled. I. You say that, but that's exactly who somebody w would be trying to trick us that they were working for them, that they weren't working for them, would say <laughs> to us. She looks starting to come out of the ears. She looks at Adric and she's like pleading, like, "What? Is, what is your brother talking about?" <laughs> this is this is the kind of conversation that's going to come up when we have to start talking about trusting anyone. I... Long story short, we don't worry. I don't trust anyone. Uh, pff, my brother um, trusts everyone until he doesn't. I listen. I, I trust in the moment, and that's it. <laughs> he trusts his eyes, I should say. <laughs> yeah, which is why I don't trust that one. I look at Targir <laughs> <laughs> because I only have one eye. Yeah, you have 50% less trust than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. mostly because you vanish frequently. Without telling us where you go. Xena's like, uh, she doesn't even know what to say anymore. She's like, listen, I, I... If you wish for me to go my own way, I will. Look, <clears throat> you wish that upon yourself. It's up to you. I would rather stay with you until we know what the Fae have planned for you and for me. Alright. It certainly yeah, seems then... like avoiding them is only going to bring more conflict unless we were to find a very powerful ally anyway. We should find a very powerful ally. Well, we were trying to make connections and then they betrayed us. The humans. Brew. And I don't imagine we're on speaking terms with the giants anymore. Listen, our friends to the south, they'll help us. <laughs> what what friends, Xena says. <laughs> the Bormen. The, the Bormen are... We don't know if they act... They, they, they don't know of us at all. Surely they've heard. They've heard she, something. She clearly, her eyes go to the Volge and the and Sten's hammer. She's like, well, I guess it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, them having heard nothing of us is the best recommendation for them I've heard. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Every I... group that's heard of us wants us dead or captured. The the boars. True. Uh, Zena would she would pipe up and she'd be like, "Well, what I can say is that the kingdom of the Boarmen is is one of the areas where the Fey have the least influence. So I would be happy going there. And honestly, I'm I'm even fine doing something for the Fey if it'll get them to leave us alone. Hmm. But yeah. Like, what's the worst they could do? Conquer the entire world? <laughs> Zena shrugs. But anyway. Yeah? I... The Kragox must go now. Okay. Kragox I've switched go. my prepared spells, so if I end up having to be used in combat... Okay. That's... They are what they are. We'll take a... This is a good time to take a quick little break, so that, that works. We'll take a quick little break here, go for another hour or so, and then... Yeah. See what happens. Uh, oh, the I joy of somebody uh, running a full caster that they've never seen before. <laughs> That's fine. I have an idea. Don't worry. 
I have all the best ideas. And, uh, no, as no. long as it doesn't involve my character as an NPC doing like a complete heel turn, doing no. weird shit, I don't care. Nah, we won't do that, but yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll take a quick little break. I'm gonna mute us. I'm actually, chat, just for anyone, I might reboot uh, the stream real quick as well, but it shouldn't uh, be a big deal. Um, Alright. I'm gonna I'm end up coming back like halfway through a combat where I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be fine.
I'm gonna go ahead and unmute us and we'll get going here. Good waffle though. Good waffle. Um Good Waffle. <laughs> I um Yeah, so we'll go ahead. Oh, let me switch the overlay. So Oh, it broke, but then it came back. Okay. So <clears throat> yeah, the next morning. You guys are just gonna head on your way towards the up just up the road. Yeah, I'm assuming, well, like, so I'm assuming you're going to go to one of the places, one of the sites of the attacks, and then go from there, like, to track track it or whatever. I assume that will be along the main road, right? Yep, it would be. Um, before you go in the morning, you would go and, like, pick up the down payment, though. Um, right. And uh, Bo would actually be there to meet you. Uh, Bo, the captain, of the guard. He'd be like, "Yeah, hey, just uh." He would he would hand you like a small pouch with uh, gold in it, right? The twenty five upfront gold. Mm -hmm. But then he'd be like, "Just uh, also uh, take this as well." And he would hand you like a letter. It's a sealed letter with like the the seal of the the kingdom that rules this area, basically. Or he probably he probably have his own seal. I don't know. But there'd be a, like a wax seal. Um closing it and he'd be like, you're like take this give it to the uh the lieutenant lieutenant half dan at the checkpoint you know as long as you show him the troll's head or whatever it is that is there then uh you'll get the rest of your money yeah sweet All right so yeah you get 25 gold in that letter and uh he um he would wish you go he'd be but good luck out there. And yeah, you guys start to head. You do have this kid with you now. Um, I mean, he's, he's 20. He's not a kid, but you know. Kahlo. And uh, he... Uh, he's mostly just going to be... He's very bubbly and, like, you know, energetic. But he's mostly not going to get in the way of you guys. He basically just wants to tag along. And he's taking notes. And, uh, like, of everything you guys say that's ma related to magic or anything arcane at all. 
Uh, he probably also took notes of your watching your cooking in the morning, Perplex. Alrighty, sweet. And uh, yeah, so you guys would uh, would head out um, along the main road. Again, it's about a day and a half to get to the checkpoint. Um, and somewhere along the way is uh, wherever this cave or whatever the den of this troll is. And as you start to go, probably about like about midday on the this first day here. So uh, after a few hours of travel, um, you uh, it's it's fairly uneventful. The roads here, most of the roads you've been going on before before this point have actually been like decently traveled. Like you've passed lots of travelers, right? But you actually don't pass any this whole first few hours of the day. Um, most likely because people have been told to steer well clear of this for a while. So, <clears throat> um, as you are going though, you do actually eventually, you actually smell it first. The smell of rotting flesh. And as you come around a corner, you see some of the victims, the unfortunate victims of this. It looks like there was a whole, like, caravan here. And most of the stuff has either been looted or was ran away with by the survivors, um... But there is a, like, a campsite here that looks like it was wrecked by something. The flesh is, there's a couple dead bodies of, uh, of humans, actually. But mostly it's like there's a, a carcass of a dead ox that was uh, one of the oxen. And that is like, uh, there's flies all over it at this point. It's a few days old, definitely, this attack. <clears throat> but, luckily for you guys, it has not rained. And... There are tracks on the ground. You can see tracks from, like, the fight from all the people that were running around or whatever. But you also see large tracks of a humanoid creature. Um, yeah, can we, can we like, examine them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel free. Uh, I would have, um, I'd say one of you roll, like, a investigation check with advantage because the others will be assisting. So who has the highest? Uh, Definitely not me. I'm dumb. Uh, that's probably going to be Adric. I can roll for him. Yeah. Let me do that. Yeah, I have a zero. So. I have a minus one. Oh. Okay, so Adric. And then Tardellini has, has a zero. Yep. Okay, so he'll roll with advantage here. He also, he also has a zero. I just realized. Oh. So well, you all... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Work either I, way. <laughs> it would make sense for him to do it, though, because he's, like, the most He's nature. the survival boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would still make sense, I guess. Either him or Rook, but, um... Either way, he, <clears throat> like... He's not going to be able to... Actually, no. You know what? Have, have the boy do it. The boy... <laughs> You want the you want Kahlo to do it. I want Kahlo to do it. He does honestly. He has an int score that's not. He's also here. native to this land. Yeah. Uh, okay, he'll he'll do it. Um. Uh, let's see. He would probably just have a plus one or two. Uh, we'll say it's we'll say it's two. I'll be generous. I mean, he's got a minus one strike. You know, those points had to go somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah. hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Oh, he'd have advantage too. Hold on. <laughs> you well, rolled the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got a fifteen. He's got a plus two, but. Well, no, I mean. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh yeah. It so he would. Um. Less. He would. Uh, so Kahlo actually is able to look, and he's like, he's like, oh, you know what? I. Uh, I I did read about this in a book. This is definitely troll prince. This is definitely troll prince. However, 100%? he would... The what? I said 100%? He'd be, he'd be like, yeah, yeah, no, this is like... This matches what I saw in one of my books I read. Um, But, but, look over there, though. You see that? And he motions to, like, a tree. Where it looks like in whatever scuffle that was involved here, uh, something happened and, like, sprayed onto one of the trees here. Is like a... There's like a hole... It looks like something was sprayed onto the tree and then kind of, like, wilted it. And it's okay. not a it's not a perfect pattern, but a good chunk of like a good swath of it is like kind of like discolored. It's got like a weird purplish look to it almost. 
Yeah, what do you think that is, Kala? He goes over and he like, like pokes it and like like scrapes it with his finger and then it was like, it's like ah, oh god, it hurts, oh, oh, and like he opens his mouth, his tongue is already swelling like instantly. Why would you eat it? I don't know. I thought I could see what it is. Freaking potion drinkers. You idiot. Yeah, Xena just shakes her head. <laughs> Even Greeny's like, Fur! like he does a little like elk snort laugh. <laughs> I uh, I asked Xena if she has anything to. I don't know. She she would go yeah, like a leaf you can put on his tongue. She'd or apply <laughs> some sort of salve, and he's gonna be fine. But it, it is poison. Okay, so a poisonous troll. You guys know of anything like that? A poisonous troll? Do I? Uh, yeah, roll me uh, an arcana check, now that you know a little more about what to expect here. Eleven. Um, oh, that's right, now that I'm not on my VPN, it's gonna be delayed. Ah, shit. Uh, Actually, Troy got a 14. Actually, you know what's weird? It's not delayed on the streams one, though. Only on my end? That is normally, like, the opposite. <laughs> okay, I don't know. That's weird, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, okay, yeah, and uh, Rook uh, is Rook going to roll. You don't honestly don't have to if you don't think he would know about it. <laughs> I don't know. There's would a this chance... be in the region? There, yeah. this is something that, like, you definitely had trolls that lived near your village growing up, so I, I would say it would make yeah. sense if you rolled okay. one. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Good um, roll. So, um, yeah. Um, Landor is, like, he thinks he's heard about, like, poison trolls before. He, he has heard of them before, not enough to remember anything about them. He, I would say the the very general thing he heard is that they're not nearly as common as normal trolls, but they also are like slightly more dangerous than a normal troll. Okay. They're not like extremely more dangerous; they're just slightly more dangerous. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I I say something along those lines. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, and probably one of them poison trolls. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there are tracks leading away from the um, mm -hmm. from the area. <clears throat> so you guys could just follow the tracks if you would like. Hmm. Follow the leader. Do we see any more, like, uh, wreckage anywhere? Is... Actually, yeah, following the tracks of it, there are, uh, there are, like, some... It looks like it basically dragged an ox away with it. Did Troy get quiet for anyone else, or just me? Uh, I don't he's think He's a little so. quiet for me, but... Okay. I can turn me up. Oh! oh uh, no, you're getting <laughs> Right when I turned you up, okay. <laughs> Okay, I turned me down a tiny bit because that's too loud for me. Mm -hmm. That should be normal though. That yeah, looks that normal sounds... on my okay. on my on my OBS. So, um, I I propose a plan. Since oh, yeah. this is going to be a day and a half worth of travel anyway, mm -hmm. what if we set up an ambush? Clearly, this thing will come out at the sign of travelers. What if we set up a fake camp and ambush it when it gets here? Mm. Wouldn't be the worst idea I've ever heard of. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do you, uh, when you're setting up this, uh, oh, I was trying to center, but I wasn't using the right thing. Uh, 
And when you set up the... So, I mean, yeah, it, like, Xena would, Xena would think it's a good idea, and Cal is like, oh, an ambush? I've always wanted to ambush something. He's, he's a yes man. He's gonna help ambush. I'll take first watch. Well, you know, um, Landor, we're gonna need someone in the camp to lure the troll in. <laughs> I go back to our native tongue. Uh, that I guess Rick doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, do you understand the like our normal? No. Uh, okay, no. Okay. Uh, Rick only knows Orcish, right? All right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, I tell I tell the Torger then Operation Trollbait Hell yes <laughs> Alright Kahlo We have a special mission for you <laughs> Yep yeah. he's, he's, uh, he's like yeah what is it We're going to set up a camp that the, that the troll is going to come to Oh that is genius Yeah we want you to be inside one of the tents. Let's go! I get to be right on the front lines? Who else is going to be yeah, with me? Yeah. Are we all going to jump out together? No. Well, you see, because we are larger, we must stay back. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> Shit. Torgir will be right there with you. He, he'll be okay, invisible. Sure. Though. He'll be invisible, though. You can go invisible? Uh, in, in my native tongue, I'm going to say, but but I can't go invisible. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. You're not going to be there, dummy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the... <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. No, he's all on board. He has not put anything together about this being, you know, weird uh, at all. <clears throat> All right. Well, let, let's get this this disheveled camp back together. Make it looks like somebody's camping here. Okay. Yeah. So you can basically use the campsite that's already here and just kind of mm -hmm. clean it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, definitely. That would uh, that would work just just fine. And the plan is to. Uh, to, you're all gonna be like waiting in the the woods nearby, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly sure. what is around us or yeah, it's, what it's there like, is. Or all I know is there's a, a broken campsite. It's very hilly, so, you know, forest. So you gotta, there are trees that you could hide behind, definitely. So you definitely gotta help us out a little bit with that. Yeah, here I'll put you on a map. How about that? Yeah, that would okay. that would make the most sense. It's a yeah, it's professionally done map, definitely. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not something that I literally just did while I was saying this. The sentences here. Oh, wow. definitely not something I Beautiful. just made in the last two minutes here. It looks great. It's uh, yeah. I, I might I'm, have a better map already made. You know, fine. I'm surprised that there's no How picture. Have I'll go down in the bottom there. A better map than this, Drake. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So we'll say that there is um. Yeah, put some trees up. Um, you know, there, there's, there's, trees, there's, boulders. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's plenty of stuff to, like, hide behind, though. Uh, oh, yeah, you can drag yourselves out. Um, because basically the idea is gonna be, like, wait for... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the map is so big. <laughs> Let's see. No, I just mean, like, the, the amount of space that you can... Unzoom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh. Oh, that is weird. Normally it doesn't. Maybe I messed with my settings when I put the other thing out. I don't think so. Uh, either way. So uh. So yeah. So this is like the the general gist. Um. So the idea is gonna be to have the 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 dude, Callo. In uh. Ah. Uh, uh, Oh god, I Can you drag me out? I'm in a pop out menu. Yeah, hold on. I gotta reopen it, I accidentally closed it. Nice. 
I clicked on one of my bookmarks instead of the menu at the top. Um, Why are we so mean to the wizard? We aren't. He wants to help. He wants to be... We're so letting him help. What I will say is, like, unless you guys want to be way <laughs> far away, you will probably have to make some stealth rolls to represent how well you've hidden yourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I drank a terrible up. size. Let me find a... Let me find a token for this other boy. Here, I'll, I, I got one, I got one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where is it, though? It's... There we go. The same one I used the other night. <laughs> for... I... That can't be him. That's... What was his name? Was that Alex Brander? Yeah. Here, well, oh god, that's stretched. No, hold on. There you go. No, that actually, this actually kind of looks like him. Except it's like weirdly <laughs> proportioned. <laughs> wow. Oh, I didn't realize he was so large. No, no, there you go. That, that's him. That's him. He's going to be hiding in this tent up here, by the way. Well, I don't know. All where right. do you want him? Where do you want him? You, you're the ones leading this. He's following your orders. Yeah, that one's fine. Okay, so he's so he's gonna be chilling in that tent up there. Do you order him to like make noises every once in a while to at least attract attention? Um, yeah, I will tell him that that if he if he hears what sounds like a troll, that he should try to uh, you know, lure it in. Okay, where uh, do you want Greeny to be involved? Uh, no. Okay, so Greeny's off, just off somewhere else. To be fair, Greeny would be hard to hide. It would make it... Yeah. I, I would have probably given you disadvantage for yourself uh, in that case. Um, as it is, though... So the idea is that you're going to be lying in wait, but you still have to go through the effort of hiding yourself, like, you know, finding a good spot. Uh, you honestly would know that trolls have good senses of smell, so you'd probably, like, cover yourself in dirt, you know, like... Basically, mm. do a bunch of stuff. So, to represent this effort of like trying to conceal yourselves, I want you each to give me a stealth check. You'll have advantage because you're not on a time limit right now, right? You know, but you do at a certain Ooh. extent. You know. Okay. Okay. Cool. I guess so. Heavy armor, so just the eighteen. It would just be the eighteen, yeah, because it would uh, cancel out. So, so the lowest is a seventeen. That is pretty pretty good like that's yeah um yeah okay that's not bad um that is uh that's good um so and yeah and then basically from there do you do anything else like do you set any traps or anything you have a you would have again you kind of found this spot around midday so you basically have the whole second half of the day to kind of set up here um I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How big do I think a troll is? You would know that they're large size. Alright. How are... tall is Adric? Adric is about uh, like 11 feet tall, I think. Trolls are slightly taller than that. What? Let's dig a pit and cover it with leaves. Okay. Like, uh, the, to hoping that it'll fall in it. Yeah. I have a shovel. Yeah. I'll I do... have a shovel. You have a shovel. Okay. It would still, this is like rocky area, right? It would, uh, where do you want the pit on this map? Right there. Okay. Where the campsite connects to the road. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's um. Let's just actually make this a matter of chance. Roll me a d100. If it's a 70 or higher, then you will be able to. Otherwise, the round the ground is too rocky. All right. What did you get? 57. Okay. Yeah. So that it's just the ground is too rocky here, right? It's like you're getting up into the mountains now. So. 
Yeah. Kind of hard. So to... we made it. We made it rough terrain then. Sure, you made a ten by ten square rough terrain. You could put it where you want. Sure. Epic. Um. Beyond that. Anything else you guys do? <laughs> to set up. Mm -hmm. Nothing else to do. Not that I can think of. Does, okay. Does our, or, actually, we were given some rope. In the past. Okay. I will set up. I will set up a rope. Like a trip line. Yeah, it goes from. Oh, fuck! How do I just draw a line? Uh, oh, there's the polygon three, tool. Uh, polygon slash line tool. Yeah. Uh, line tool. Yeah. Yeah, you would have like, plenty of rope to be able to do this. Okay. There you go. Cool. Got it. Yeah. So yeah, you guys spend a good chunk of the day setting this stuff up. Cleaning up the camp to make it look like an actual, like, currently used camp. Um, you'd do all this. And then you would kind of, you cover yourselves with dirt. Um, uh, find a hiding spot and prepare to ambush. Xena would be like taking care of Greeny off, off screen, right? Yeah. Um, Perfect. And uh, to make sure he doesn't like panic or anything. Adric is in this tree over here. He's in this tree over here. Don't worry. I'll keep track of it. I'll, I'll let you know what's going on with Adric. <laughs> and so um, as night begins to fall, it, it'll actually be several hours after nightfall. Around like, you know, probably like midnight, basically. When uh, you would all actually hear movement off in the distance. Like the brushing of, like, uh, trees getting, like, kind of... And snapping of twigs as coming from that way to the west is... Uh, you do hear a lumbering figure. The, the fire in the middle of the camp is, I'm assuming, like, you just, like, let it start, like, burning itself out or whatever. It would be casting yeah. some low light. Yeah. But, but you want to make it look like it's, like, a, a sleeping campsite, so... Yeah. <clears throat> the, uh... And so you hear the, a lumbering figure coming over this way. So, let's see. I'll roll this open. Is it going to... It's a roll of perception check. Um, I, I still rolled it privately. Shit, I didn't change it. It got an 11. <laughs> so, um, but uh, that is uh, specifically to see if it smells you guys. Um, however, I'm going to roll a separate check, and I'll roll this one open. To see if it sees the tripwire. Normally, that's like an investigation check. Um, yeah. So. Hmm. I wonder what the DC of that would be. Hmm. 15. Uh, Probably. Should I roll a survival? Yeah, you know what? That works. Roll a survival check. That would make sense. And that will, we'll match that. See if it... Uh... Okay. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So, actually, yeah. You're a... Uh... You would all again like um, your eyes have adjusted to the the, the light. Um, you know, you can't really see a ton, but the, the moon is out enough so that you can you have some vision. Um, and the fire is casting a low light. You actually do see kind of lumbering out from the trees across the little road here is a a large troll. <laughs> they are they have a bulbous belly and uh, have a very yeah, weird look. Um, you guys, I don't know if ever your characters have ever seen trolls before, but you definitely know what they look like in general. And they don't really look like this. Um, yeah, I feel like Adric and my character have maybe gotten uh, called trolls before in our life <laughs> as an as an insult. Yeah. But no, so this uh, so it kind of like starts lumbering out. You see, it's actually like they are not um, they are not very smart. Um, but it still is a, you know, they are still, um, it is, it is used to prowling this area. So as it kind of, like, walks up to the road, it kind of is, like, sniffing around. You would all be able to tell. You can't get a full, clear look at it. 
You can tell that it's like this bulbous large belly and like these bloated limbs. And it's like sniffing around, looking around too. Basically, it's trying to figure out like what's going on here, right? And as it moves forward, it literally will just walk right into the tripwire and go whoosh, whoosh, and like fall onto the ground. Do you guys take this as an opportunity to run at it? Uh, yeah, it's down. Okay, sure. I was just sure if you wanted to keep waiting, but I'm assuming. I guess the tripwire's there for this purpose. Um, so yeah, so the thing, like, falls, and it goes like, and it's, it's gonna start getting up, but it's gonna take it a few seconds, because it has to realize what even just happened, um, as it is, uh, on the ground. So, yeah, go ahead and, uh, roll me your initiative checks, then. You gotta re-roll, Tart. I have a re-roll. Oh no, it just it just waited until I rolled mine to acknowledge that yours was in there. Yeah, oh, it was okay. it was weird. Uh, I got fixed now. <sighs> mine didn't show in there for no reason. Yours showed oh, for yeah. half a second. Huh, that's weird. Let me get the battle music going. It's not my fault, so I'm just gonna choose take whatever the new roll is. <laughs> Bruh, no, you can't do that. It's illegal. I think it's do a natty one and it's then a nat legal. 20. <laughs> oh god, the music is too loud. I saw you just take somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Uh. Okay, there you go. Music set up. Alright, so I gotta roll it into initiative. And. well oh it also didn't show up shit you know what it is it's probably because i had stuff in there from the last combat and then oh that's here. that's not how that works because that's never been the case before no it was there i deleted it manually so here i'm deleting it all here y'all gotta roll again mm, you need okay. to change it back to what you had but i'm just gonna reset the whole thing it, Bruh. it's gotten <laughs> fucky no you just change it to what you had Bruh. Um, uh, hold on, let me, well, I'm so uh, Um, okay, so what did you have? Target you had a nine. I changed it already. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm also just lagged out, that's the other thing. Uh, um, <laughs> roll 20 is just not working yeah, very well. I, I think mine just roll 20, yeah. Yeah. Lander was on there, but then just because I I've yeah. changed my initiative five times and it hasn't yet. Oh yeah, and then it rolled twice it again. before when I did. What the? Hell I is rolled going? again. <laughs> what is happening with the roll twenty here? I I think it's all good now. Now you have to take your ninety one toward you. Nope, I'm not gonna. Well, you know, it's not my <laughs> fault, so I'm gonna. No, it was your I fault for rolling had... bad. It wasn't my fault that I had to re-roll them. <laughs> you don't get to keep the re-rolls. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? There. I'm, I'm oh, just... Is there a P in there? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, it's, this is this is the initiative. Um, I can accept this. Uh, <laughs> okay. So yeah. So. The thing falls, and it's gonna, on its turn, it, uh, well, hmm, I need to figure out if it, is it surprised? Yeah, I would say so. I think it, this would count as surprise, because it was expecting, it was expecting resistance, but it wasn't expecting to be tripped walking into the camp. Um, so, yeah, this will be a surprise round, which means it won't be able to get up this whole round of initiative. Landor, uh, your turn. Um, Kahlo yells out, he's like, do we attack it now? <laughs> Clearly blowing the cover, but I mean, it was already blown. <laughs> well, I mean, 
He was the bait. <laughs> That's the one yeah, the troll okay. was supposed to be going after. I don't know. We didn't really think this through. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit far away, huh? <laughs> we're all kind of far away. Yeah. Speak for yourself. I'm nice and close. <laughs> I'm like one square out of range. Yeah. I, I didn't expect it to <laughs> fall ass first onto the, onto <laughs> what if the it, wire. What if I it fell it forward? forward. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Right, fine. Right, it, falls, right it, it, falls, okay. it goes there. It falls to there. Right. It trips forward. <laughs> nice. And then what if, what if me and Torgy were just swapped? But I don't want to be there. I want to be here. Yeah. You're lifting them on, on your shoulder. Yeah, we're hanging out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it still doesn't help me, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it helps at all. Maybe a little, but... Uh, yeah, so what do you Are do, you... Landor? Um, yeah. No, actually, it does help. Mm hmm I'm going to move here. Okay. And then I'm going to swing at it. Okay, you're going to whip out the Volge? The Volge. Oh, Let's go. Oh, yeah, because it's got reach. I don't even... I don't even have their reach added. around. Yeah, it's, uh, that's fine. It just do a... Uh, just do a... Can I just do the Warhammer for now? Yeah, it'll... Yeah, that's, fine, that's fine, that's yeah. fine, yeah. It's, it's one higher because it's a plus one weapon, but it'll... The same roll. We'll just take the roll. Okay. Let me know what you get. Uh, or actually, I should be able to see it on the stream view. You'll, you'll be able to see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is, uh, that is a hit. Oh! Okay, what's the what's the damage on it? It'll be a D12 plus your strength modifier plus one. Okay, so I roll a D12. Okay. And then that's plus three plus one. Okay, so nine. nine. Okay, so yeah, you come in and uh, you swing at it um, with advantage, which uh, yeah was still the same thing. And um, you get a good hit on it, and well, it's like. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, yeah, because I roll the pro, and yeah. And so it's like, it's like, it's like all of a sudden it's being attacked. So, uh, yep. It is quite tanky, though. Is that all you okay. do? I mean, we're going to hit it again. Mm -hmm. It does have a very tough hide. Not that tough, though. So. I have a great plan. This is working out perfectly. This would be six, then. That'd be six. Okay. You know, still better than nothing, as it, um, yeah, no, it, uh, you, you hack away at it with the Vulge. Okay. Let me remind myself what my character does again. Yeah, you would do the marking thing, right? So it's like, it's marked now, I guess. It is marked now, for sure. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have Action Surge if you wanted to use it now, but... Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's too necessary right now. Okay. In that case, it'll bring us to Rook. Watch me accidentally kill the kid. <laughs> right here. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rage it up. Mhm. Mm and I'm gonna attack boy with uh, my greatsword. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, and you would have advantage. You would have advantage, prone. so yeah. yeah and yeah. that is a hit. Okay. Well, I gotta check if it is. No, it be eighteen. Yeah. So that's a, a that, uh, the damage seems fully effective. It, it goes like oh, it's like screaming it's like, oh, as you're just like slashing away at it. Can you take my other hit? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's that's good. Obviously. So close. Okay, a little bit less. Okay. Ten damage. Ten damage. As it just is screaming in pain. Actually, though, hold on. I need to check something real quick. Oh, I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I forgot something. You know what? I'll say that the first round... It, uh, the first hit won't do this. As your second hit comes in, swinging down on it, you actually... It, like, raises up one of its arms, just, like, instinctively, you know? And, like, okay. there's these giant... Uh, Rook, now that he's close enough, can see that there's these giant, like, pustules, like, 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 
pus-filled blisters almost all over its arms and legs and body. And as you hit it, you do hit its arm, you get a good chunk of uh, meat that just you heave your blade into. But all of a sudden, one of these like things like blasts open and a bunch of like liquid comes splattering out onto you. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna take uh, this much uh, poison damage. Bruh. There's no save for half damage. <laughs> There's no no decks to save or anything. Nope. Damn. Um, yeah, you're just lucky that I forgot for the first one, and I'm being generous and saying I'm not gonna give you it for the first one. Does poison damage go through ten hit does. points, or does it? Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. It. it no, I thought you were gonna say for rage, but no. Temp oh, HP okay. goes just for any damage source. Okay. So. Uh, unless it's like very specific, yeah, it will yeah. Call out that it <laughs> goes true. through temp okay. HP. So yeah, so a bunch of literal like poison just like splashes onto Ruck, like just splatters, like a pimple popping all over him, and it just starts burning away at his uh, flesh. So, um, that uh, is that all you do? Uh, I, I yeah, gotta, yeah, I, think that's I gotta all remember I can do, really. that. Yeah, luckily, though, uh, actually, Landor, seeing this, realizes that, like, he's lucky he's using a reach weapon. If he had been closer, he would have actually been hit. Now, by this, because so. of my danger sense, would I get deck saving throws next time it happens? No, it's, it's not an all effect right. that you can dodge. It's literally just, if you're okay. that close, you're getting sprayed with poison. It's just, all right, all right. Yeah. But, um... But yeah, no, yeah, so Perplex, you actually kind of got lucky that uh, <laughs> that you couldn't get close enough. Did I did I notice when I hit it that it did the same thing? I, it, I guess it would have uh, done that. It would have okay. sprayed, like, in an area around it, but it wouldn't have hit you. Yeah. The, this time, did it seem like uh, I would have been hit by this as well? Yes, if you had been closer. It's just spraying in a general area. Yep, it's each creature every time that it gets hit. So, each creature within five feet of it. Mm. Um, yeah, like, it, like it, it's basically just spraying into the air, like all around it. When it, when one of these things gets like popped. Um, is that it for uh, for mm -hmm. Rook? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is. I end my turn. It is its turn. It is surprised. However, uh, it does have a passive thing that will uh, happen. As <laughs> it uh, it doesn't get to move or use its action. However, as it like on the start of its turn, you see like the the big gash you would just put in its arm, Tartarus. You literally see it start to like uh, join together. The fleshy sinews like all just start joining together. And it's a there's a weird like suck it suction noise as it regenerates okay. HP actively. Okay. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't get to go. Unfortunately for it, it's Torgir's turn though. All right. I am going to run here. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could barely. I'm, I'm gonna blast that. it with a cone of frosty damage. Okay. Uh, so it is going to need. Yes. Uh, boop. Con. No. Con. Okay. Constitution save throw. It's pretty high for it. Oof. A. It did no not succeed. Oof. All right. Its speed yes. is now zero. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. Unless it uses an action to get rid of the ice. Yeah. Uh, give me a second here. So... Is there any other stipulation to that? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, can something else set it free? Yeah. Or only... It or another creature can use their action to break away the ice. Yeah. And the it, ice lasts for one minute. It takes the full damage there, and it's like... And it's like... As it gets, like, frozen in place. Is it restrained to... No. Okay. Not it's unless just, you say it is. It's, no. It all mechanically from the spell, it just sets their speed yeah. to zero. It's basically just like underneath them, they are frozen to the ground now. Like they can still move and stuff uh, with their arms. They just can't 
actually move or get up or anything. So yeah. Um, um, would you like for me to roll a d20? I would. All right. Because you're fucking my troll loader. All right. All right, you're good. Um. <laughs> Let's see. It is visibly wounded, by the way. Also, though, however, before we move on, as you, as, like, these ice shards start hitting it, one of them punctures another one of these pustules. Another yeah. bit of poison will spray onto uh, Rook. Rip, Rook. All right. Ah! Oh, let's go. Bruh. Who <laughs> damage. Yeah. <laughs> Min. Bruh. <laughs> the poison froze. Get Min to troll. Effective. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is that all you do, Torgir? Um. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That brings us to, uh. to Landor then. Is Craig, you not doing anything? Oh, I forgot to describe. You know, this is the top initiative. This, is, this works. Adric was sitting up in this tree. And his goal was going to be to charge on in. Uh, then you hear like a... Argh! And then all of a sudden a crack of a branch as his he didn't like have his weight balance right and he's big. And you see him go tumbling out of the tree and rolling down the hill that way. Adric goes well, tumbling right. down the hill end over end. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Landor's turn. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, it is your bruh. Oh. Oh, he's back. Uh, you're going down the hill. Yeah, you better climb up right. again. Yeah, you've, you've rolled down the hill. <laughs> yeah, we can roll you into initiative now, though. Hold on. Oh, well, first we need to now, roll down the, the hill. <laughs> yeah. Totally rolled, yeah. Down roll the hill for up. distance. Yeah. Yeah, roll roll between uh, 1 and 100. How many feet did he go? <laughs> oh, no. Roll uh, roll like a D... Uh, 66 feet. feet. Uh, Let's round that down to 65 feet. Okay. Yeah, 65 feet down the hill, off the edge of the map, is where Adric is. Okay, well... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you can roll into initiative, though, if you'd like. He could have been back in two He's turns. Left. He's left already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, there it is. <laughs> you can roll into initiative, though. It'll just take you like a turn or two. <laughs> no, I, I'll say 40 you feet. You get to me being relevant now when I'm back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because we're at the top of initiative, so you might as well ro roll in now. Wait, what round of combat is it? Second. Second. Two. Yeah. What was I doing last round? You're in the there, tree. You were, you were falling <laughs> off of a tree. <laughs> Apparently. You're rolling. There's a little bug on me. Hey, Mr. Is, this gonna is be it a, new a friendly bug? Just, like, yeah. He's got somewhere. ticks. No, it's like one of the uh, mosquito eater bugs. You probably don't have those in Oregon. Mosquito eater? We do. They're like a big, they look like a giant mosquito, yeah. but they actually eat mosquitoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we get those all yeah. over here. Yeah. yeah. They're, um... Those are quite common here as well. Mayflies, right? Yeah, I think that's what yeah. they're yeah. More so than those, what we, I've seen around here actually is dragonflies. Yeah. Oh, not mayflies. Um, we don't have a whole lot of dragonflies over here. Mayflies? We do have some. No. So, Landor, what are you going to do? What are they called again? Uh, Well, I've accepted the... Brainfly. Uh, that Brainfly. <laughs> they just you. taking damage down there. Okay. Um, we'll get them up, probably. And uh, yeah, I I can I can I do something? What do you want to do? Can I uh, wrap a cloth around my volge and set it on fire? That would take your your whole action. Yeah, that's that's what I was I was wondering. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I will action surge okay. and attack. Got it. Yeah, just like poking it from afar. Mm -hmm. Yep, feel free to make your attacks. Okay. That's actually a miss, unfortunately. A 10? Uh, yeah. Well, you'd have advantage, it'd be a 12. That's still a miss. Or a 13. Wait. 13 is a miss, yeah. It got up already? It's No, it's no. not up. 
Oh, uh, also, I'm actually oh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a D4 to that. So it's actually uh, oh, fifteen. Shit. What is the, how many of the other day? Uh, yes. Like, like I have it costs two sorcery points. Oh, to do it. okay. Shit. Okay, yeah. And, and I have six of those per long rest right now. That uh, that is um, that is a hit then with that D4. It's got tough hide, okay. but. Do I get any bonus damage or fire? Mm, for having a fiery thing on the end of it. An extra D12? I'll say an extra, <laughs> I'll say an extra D4, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't mind Got me, it. I'm just rolling for one of my abilities. Alright, nice, so that's the D12. Uh-huh, six. Plus another four, right? So that's okay, ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the thing is visibly wounded already, and as the fire starts covering its body, the fire starts spreading to other parts of its body, and just uh, like just enveloping it for a second, uh, right after the hit, as it goes, Argh! all right. Uh, no. Also, wait, wait before you do that, before you do that, he's gonna spray. <laughs> you get uh, rook gets sprayed a little more. Okay, that's another hit. Okay. So 11 more. Okay, and then I will take my reactionary hit. Okay. What? Well, wait. Being uh, marked. Do you get to do that? Yeah, it, it damaged another creature. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. Is it from a damage or from an attack? These aren't. I attacks. believe it's. I believe it's just if it damages it. Put I it in will, the chat. I will we'll put it in you. the chat. Then. You take another 15, by the way. Really. Great, it just if it del does damage. Yep, you're right. If a creature deals marked damage. by you deals damage anyway. Yep, you're right. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you definitely get that last attack. Yeah, I think the, the, the thing they were thinking of was like breath attacks or stuff yeah, that's that fair. aren't technically attacks. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But... Well then, uh, go ahead and roll. <laughs> and that's all I can roll, I guess. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Thank Still God. though. <laughs> it's, uh, it's looking pretty rough right now. Yeah. Right. It's uh, looking rough. Oh. All right, is that all? <laughs> that, you? How, how's our boy looking? <laughs> oh, wait, oh wait, yeah, that's another Should attack. I... Hold on, wait, wait. What? Oh, what? another three to you. For what? More poison. You get another attack. attack. Oh, didn't I thought that was the fifteen? Oh shit. Yeah, no, that too. <laughs> But uh, okay. now there's that I third attack. Three times. Yeah, <laughs> you're just getting sprayed with poison. <laughs> there's like a cloud in the air where this thing is basically just squirting what? everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna disengage. Well, when on your well, turn, on your turn. Able to, yeah. Oh, well. He, <laughs> uh, oh, because Adric is here that's now. What that's what Lando right does. It goes to yeah. Adric now. Yeah. Well. You're. I, I'm gonna lower it to forty. You're forty feet down the hill. Off the edge of the map. All right, Edric will stand up, dust himself off, yell, "Don't worry, I'm coming," and run back to where he's actually standing. Like he, he's actually here now. Yeah. And that's his action and movement. So. <laughs> right. All right. What is Rick gonna well, no, do? You, you'd get, you'd get well, further than that. You if I disengage, right? I can't attack. Oh well, yeah, I guess if he's for so. Correct. Okay, I'm not gonna disengage then. I'm just gonna. Well, I guess he get there. Go here. If, if, and if then... you want to. I have to do it. Will, would this thing react, attack me? If we move where, sorry? Uh, yeah, if you go it. there, it will It will react attack. Okay. That's It'll have disadvantage, though. though. It will have disadvantage? Yep. I have advantage if it's dex, right? It's No, it's just an attack. From standing up. Oh, okay. Like, it's just a reaction attack, so... Okay, okay. Uh, it is disadvantage because it's prone. Mm -hmm. So... It will mm -hmm. uh, claw out at you. It misses. That's miss double nat twenty. No. Wait, I thought I thought he disengaged. No, he's no, I decided, decided not to. Want to yeah. Oh, you decided not to. Yeah. Because I want to attack. Yeah. Okay. Our choice. Yep. However, um, I am gonna. Oh, what? I have bad news for you. If you're about to throw a javelin. Yeah. Javelins on prone. You have disadvantage. You have disadvantage against prone targets with a ranged uh. attack. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Just reckless attack. Wait. No, you can't do it on though. SV melee for reckless. So. Does uh, the mark do something. anything? 
It does not do anything. No, not oh, for okay. you. That's like, it only really affects perplexes and stuff. Okay. Well, it, right. it means well. that it has disadvantage on attacks against you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but Which it but already the poison has. <laughs> doesn't attack you. Oh. So. I'm going to throw two javelins at it, so. 24. <laughs> Got it. That's a hit, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, sure. I'll actually no. I'm not gonna bother. That does not hit. No. No. And uh, yeah, I don't think the rage applies uh, for range attacks. But you still get a good hit in on it, and it's almost. It looks like it's about to die. Like it's just. Like, Is that all you do? Uh, yeah, that's all I do. Okay. I'll end. Um, it brings it yeah, it's to... a melee weapon attack for rage. Yeah, so that brings yeah. us to its turn. The unfortunate thing is for it, it's first off, it's not regenerating because it took fire damage. Um, and it can't move. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. All true. All true things. <laughs> so here's what I'm wondering. Okay. I just gotta look at something real quick. Hmm. Hmm. It does have one thing I think it can do. <laughs> Actually, can pop I... one of its own zits. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Drake, is your thing if it uses its action, does it then get its movement back? Yeah. Okay. It's So what it's going to do, it's it's going to go like, like its claws. Pretty like sure these, anyway. Yeah, on these gnarly hands, its claws start just like shredding the ice that's holding it in place. And it uh, it is just going to like break the ice on it with its action. Yes, it is until it or another creature within reach up it uses an action to break away the ice. Okay. And so then it will have its movement. It will stand up. So it has half of its movement. Yeah, and it'll step over the rope. Does it fall over again? <laughs> uh, I'll roll a dexterity save. With advantage because it knows it's there now. So, Yeah, it steps over the it steps over the rope. Um, it would have been pretty funny if it stepped backward and <laughs> fell over again. Yeah, and so it just starts running, and that's all, I think, that's all it can do. But it is now standing up and literally running away. How much movement does that? Uh, 30 feet. Okay. Yeah, so. So you use 15 to get up? I think it can only move one square over. Oh, because the rough terrain. Yeah. You're right. Fuck. Yeah, oh. where would it be then? Here? Yeah. Oh, bruh. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's it's just gonna sit there. Uh, Torgir, it's your turn. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do a ray of frost at it. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself advantage with tides of chaos. Okay. So I assume a twenty-two will hit. Would you have advantage on it? Oh, because yeah, I, just, I gave chaos. myself. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That would it. Uh, that and it. I'm going to uh, use quickened spell to cast it again. Okay. Yeah. Well, you did a different one, but it's the same roll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that'll be enough. Uh, you don't need to reroll the damage. It's it is it is going to just collapse. As you basically just freeze, you see like part of it is on fire from like the uh, being hit with the the fiery um, volge, and now now it's getting frozen as other parts of it go like, Arr! and it looks at itself, it's like, Arr! and then just like collapses forward on top of the rope. Don't worry, guys. Let's I'm go. Here. <laughs> Hey, good oh, job, the best, brother. The best part is its speed was also reduced by 20, even yeah. if I didn't kill it. I'm assuming <laughs> you would go and, like, hack it with fire to make sure it doesn't come back. Yeah, I I'm would... not getting near that thing, dude. 
Yeah, no, I, I would come up with, with my with my flaming volge and just yeah. lop its head off. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cast Mage Hand, and I'm going to take some of the, like, very hot embers from the campfire and drop it on it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, now, for you, like, kind of staying back so you don't get sprayed with poison, um... Landor is easily able to just go like whoosh, and lop its head off before it's able to. You do see, like, you know, in the time it takes you to, like, get ready for that, it starts to, like, mend its flesh back together, even being dead. It starts to regenerate, but you get in time before it's able to actually get up again. So, it will, uh, it will be dead. That, uh, your trap worked very well, because otherwise that would have been a rough fight. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. It didn't even get to but, attack at all. <laughs> look, our our ability to plan out exactly how we should trap things wasn't the best, but it's still an improvement than just <laughs> rushing into its own cave. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, the, the thing collapses, you have its head, it is dead. So I guess I just missed us traveling, figuring out where it lives, and then camping as bait. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we found a wizard boy. I don't know if you were there. <laughs> yeah, but he was yeah, with boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we had him stay in one of the tents as bait. Oh, you weren't even. <laughs> you were just like Operation Troll Bait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who would ever rush into a monster's lair? Jack says. <laughs> reference in the other game i wouldn't <laughs> where they, i would where, never where they run where the party a few weeks ago rushed right into an ancient white dragon's lair <laughs> well, we didn't know it was an ancient white that's dragon. true you didn't know it was at that worst yeah you didn't that's true <laughs> we should uh, we should however check out its lair or its, its cave yeah there are clear There's... tracks um so yeah I so probably OG, like yeah. Like after, too after scared to make you roll on the loot table for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but actually, we can handle that now. Now we'll have a loot table here because it, it. Well, here's the thing. I mean, it would have it would have had a bunch of like carts that went through that it. It doesn't really it have the same them, desire right? for loot necessarily that the uh, that the kobolds did, right? They like oh, shiny things. I'm certainly. But yeah, it was going to be more some. like stuff that it's. It's consuming didn't destroy. Yeah, stuff from the bodies of a few people it dragged up there to finish. Couple the magic daggers. So uh, we, we'll still we'll roll this too. Honestly, I like rolling from the tables. So. Are you saying we should cut it open as well <laughs> to see <laughs> see what magic loot is surviving in its belly? <laughs> if you want to try to cut into the the the, the, the venom <laughs> troll, <laughs> you know, go for well, you can be my guest. I got a big old bulge. <laughs> I can stick it in there. Alright, this is a... Start a bonfire on top of it big enough to burn away the the poison. Okay, here's what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna have you roll someone roll a D4. And that is Uh, how Discord order? I'll do it in Uh, your chat. Alright. Okay. No, you have to do it. That's not Discord order. Who's Discord order? No. Craig is first. (laughs) So roll a D4, Craig Ox. Okay, so you're gonna get three rolls off of Magic Table A, which is the weakest. So each of the rest of you can roll a D100 now. Okay. I got a 90. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay. 13 and 44 are both normal potions of healing. So there's a couple okay. on the body. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about its cave. It's just a cave. It's just a troll cave, right? There's like a few corpses in there. On on, on a couple of them that look like they belong. You know, it was a, the corpses of a couple merchants. You find some uh, some some just you know health potions, just normal health potions. Um, and you also find some money, which we'll get to in a second. The last one, ninety is actually a a spell scroll of first level hmm first level spell scroll oh good berry sure it's good berry yeah <laughs> let's go spell no. scroll <laughs> of good berry uh <laughs> spell scroll wants to make some good berry jam doesn't he yeah so you, <laughs> yeah. So you get two potions two healing potions 
Spell Scroll of Goodberry. And you'll also get, um, roll me a tart, roll me a d100. This many platinum pieces. No. Nah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> four! Yikes! Oh, four four platinum pieces. You're gonna get. <laughs> you're gonna get this many copper. Hold on. Four. <laughs> A D four of copper. Oh, I didn't Bruh. roll. Nice job, idiot. <laughs> nice. Four thousand six hundred copper. Let's go. Uh, wait. Yeah. You get one thousand three hundred fifty nine <laughs> copper pieces. Oh, that's pretty good. You can split it four ways. I get. You know. <clears throat> Yeah, I totally contributed a uh, fourth of that combat. Yeah. yeah. Like, literally after the fighting's already done, the, 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 the kid comes out. He's like, oh, we won! We won! You did it! I did it! Let's go! Yeah. And yippee, exactly. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, no. So there's, there's a bit of loot, but nothing too crazy. The main thing, though, is that you got the head of the, the troll. True. Yeah. I'm assuming you would then just camp here and move on to the checkpoint? Yep. Yeah, you'll basically get to the checkpoint at the afternoon of the next day, right? So. Yeah, I was assuming that we were, you know, sort of within that half day of travel. Yeah, it's a little over half day, but not too much more. Hmm. So. Do, you, do we get a long rest here or just a short rest here? Yeah, you're about to get one, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And, a long um. Rest. Yeah, I think that's where we'll wrap up for today with you guys okay. going to the checkpoint next time. So. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. I assume I recover both my javelins since it wasn't that far. Um, let's see. Roll me a d100 oh, for each. On. <laughs> yeah, how corroded were they by the poison? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Only two D1s. Oh. 77. 46. It was, I was just doing a 50 50. So one of them is uh, corroded and like was like snapped by it getting up. So. Okay. You get one back though. Alright. So, yeah. But yeah, so. Um, it's the one that missed. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, the that one that back, missed. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> But yeah, no, so that is actually, uh, that's where we'll wrap up here, is with you guys having another little encounter with a, with a troll. And, uh, yeah. That works. Alright. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we should be good next week, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. As far as I'm aware. Cool. Well, that's um, the last good week. Okay, then you're going, right? Yep, then I'm gone. How long will you be unable to play? unknown but okay. at least a week or two okay yeah mm -hmm. so we'll have like a little hiatus at that point um so yeah hmm either way um yeah that'll do it for today's D. &D. Uh, i gotta go i gotta go do grading and shit um mm -hmm. so uh yeah you guys got any special streams playing coming up mm, no nope. i might do a little stream tonight Okay, cool. Maybe yeah, what you're thinking. Darkness? Maybe the return of the soul? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, are you still going, Perpy, or...? I will be ending. Okay. How long? We did the wordles and stuff. Uh, mm, yeah. Before, before yeah. Enduring. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll host up someone else, then. Uh, I don't know who to host up. Yeah. Host I know who you should host. Post up Hoot House live stream. Honestly, I is. fair. I, I'm okay with this. I don't know who that is. Hoot Neither House do is I. A, is a is a 24/7 streamer that films owls. Epic. Let's do it. <laughs> no. In other words, in other words, there's basically no action ever at all. No, Actually, I... no, no, no. Host up, host up the good Jared. No, I have a. I'm gonna I, host up the good Jared. He's oh, a, you he's can a host up them. I'm, I'm hosting up someone else, but uh. He's a Hank Hill streamer. I will. Uh, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> we will see you all later. Stream, chat, and uh, see you. Good. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye.